<laughs> Welcome. Um, and I want everyone. I want well, actually. I need. Uh, and I'm gonna butcher butcher everyone's name until I figure out how to pronounce everything. Uh, Kathleen. Um, yes, sir. Zerial. Zilrail. Zerail, okay. Um, and Elenial. Correct? Yeah, you got it right back on the nose. Okay. I need you three to make constitution saving throws. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Out of character high five, Siege. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Eat oh, shit. Well, all right, you're fine. Welcome to my campaign, Rocks Fall. <laughs> Rocks Fall. You take. You take <laughs> Rocks boo-boos. Fall. Everyone dies. Okay. Surprise. Um, so, Kath Glenn, you're you're fine. Um, we'll get to you in a in a moment. Is um, this is a save, right? Yeah. Uh, saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Uh, uh, is mine a failure? Well, it's, it's, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> um, well, there's an ability I can use, but it has to be if I fail a saving throw or miss with an attack. I can roll th- This is, this is not, this is not that kind of, this, it's not that kind of. It's not important enough. Not that kind of effect, so. Okay. It, Your character starts you're not the going, game with cancer. You're not, <laughs> you're, not, you're not going to be able to, to, to use an ability to resist it. Um, and so Alexia or, or Elenial, uh, you have, uh, one point of exhaustion and you have passed out. Okay. So you're not unconscious, but you're not, you're not, you, you have passed out from exhaustion. You load in, taking um, a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Zerial, you have taken, uh, one point of exhaustion. Okay. All right. Um, so, Kathleen, you are the, the most, um, awake and, and, and conscious, um, during all this. Um, you look around and, and, you, you roughly kind of fog remember remember what happened, but it, it's it's a little rough and 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 you can't quite put your finger on it. But you're looking around and you're you're kind of bumping along along the road, looking around and and you're you're in a cart. You're in in what looks like a a trailer or not a trailer, but like a cart being pulled by horses. Um, but you're surrounded by bars. Um, <laughs> You try to move, and your your arms are shackled. Your arms are shackled to the, to the side of the side of the the, the cage. Oh, they didn't um, leave anything ah, chance. Hey, <laughs> finally awake. Uh, uh, so you look you look around, um, and you see. Um, You see a uh, a, a, a what looks like a, a young uh, elf laying laying slumped over, um, also also um, bound, um, shackled, shackled, uh, and 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 now that you you're you're kind of coming to a little bit, you see in front of you there's another another cage. Um, but this one, there's only one one humanoid in it. You see a something you've probably never seen before. Um, it looks like some kind of giant bird. Um, I don't. I, you, I, I don't know if you you can't really figure out exactly what it is. Um, okay. And and coming along beside um, the the wagon. Uh, you see in heavy, heavy chains, um, <laughs> both, both arms, legs, um, 
a half orc, a half orc female, um, and <clears throat> as you look around, you you see um, these men and women in in kind of you know red leathers and and uh, wandering along, uh, walking walking beside the the um, the wagons. Um, and you don't quite know what to make of all this. Um, what do you do? Uh, let's see. So my character says, yes, 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 I'll ask, ask the half orc, uh, where are we going now? So, um, Golthy, you're 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 wandering along, being being drug, seething, just just tr- in, a, in a rage. Oh, this but is how my you, day starts, you, is it? You have, <laughs> you have been here before. Um, unfortunately, you have 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 not been able to overcome this this group yet. Um, they have brought you down to the point where they use you as uh, uh, somewhat of their their pack mule and and run and fetch it. And and unfortunately, the problem is if you don't, you don't get fed. You don't get anything. And uh, at least one day, you were drugged behind the carts. Uh, for about six hours uh, near death. Um, <clears throat> Zeriel, uh, you are uh, awake, um, but absolutely exhausted. Just you, you, your, your vision's blurry. You, you don't really know what the hell is going on. Um, and you kind of fuzzily see shapes and you see people around you or, or, or humanoids around you, but you really don't know what's going on right now. Um, Velos, you're good. <laughs> you, you are in wonderful shape. You are bound. Fair enough. You have... Um, your arms are bound, mm-hmm. your legs are bound, and uh, your wings are uh, are bound right? to the point where you can't move. move. Right. But you've been fed, you've been uh, taken care of. Um, they're not risking anything with you. <laughs> um, because they 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 have special. Um, something they know that, that that that's some you, you're not something that comes along every day. Your feathers um, make for a good medicinal er uh, medicinal source, so uh, prepare to get plucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gothi, you know, you know what's going on. You know these are slavers. Um. And while you have not necessarily ran into this group in particular before, you you've been in this situation before. Um, Zeriel and 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 Kathleen, the last thing you remember was you weren't necessarily together, but you were both kind of wandering through the woods, kind of exploring the land, um, trying to find more out about some of the people that have. Have have come into uh, Ice Mount, um, and one night when you were uh, you had been can, had been camping, you were ambushed, knocked out, knocked unconscious. Together um, or separately? No, no, separately. Okay. Um, and Kathleen, you you remember. 
um, Zeriel being thrown in, in the back of the crate, in the, in the cage. Um, Zeriel, you remember very little um, after that. Okay, so I've been away um, for a while then. You've been waiting for a little while, but not, I mean, you guys, you, you're kind of just coming to. Um, okay. You know, have, you have not been fed, uh, as, as far as you know, at least in two days. Um, you have had no water, no food, no nothing in, in at least two days. Um, and, um, so, what are y'all doing? Uh, well, if the half orc can't answer my query about where we're headed, I'm just gonna kind of growl to myself and drop back into wait and see mode. So we're probably off to Feheim to be told how we'll be shafted and asked to give thanks. You hear um, from the front. Yeah, unless you want to be knocked out again, shut up. You continue down the road, um, moving fairly slowly. Um, as this is this is a this is a, a a party that not necessarily is is looking to move quickly, but they're looking for other game, uh, for lack of a better term. But it's getting dark, um, and uh, they are are starting to come come to a um, a breaking point. Um, By breaking point, you mean a place to. Like, take right, uh, they're coming to coming to a place to camp. <clears throat> they um, they pull pull everything off the sides of the road uh, of of the roads and start setting up camp. Um, Golthy, they they uh, pull you off to the side and you uh, are told to begin uh, setting up the. Uh, some of the heavier um, equipment for the for the camp. Oh, am I? All right, like what? Um, not necessarily heavier, but some of the some of the things that quite, they quite frankly don't want to have to deal with. Um, things like digging digging a uh, uh, a ditch in the side near in the camp to. For everybody to shit in, All and right. don't don't be don't be fooled. They're they're not, you know, you're not doing this in a sense where, like, if you uh, they know what you're what you try to do, and they know that you won't make it more than ten steps before someone's on top of you. Oh no, I don't intend to run. What else are you having me do? Go ahead, tell. Me. <laughs> yes, Basically, can I do more? It, it's essentially just just uh. Helping set up camp, um, and 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 uh, running, just chopping firewood, doing 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 little things. Oh, so nothing like I can rig their tents to collapse or anything. No, nothing like that. Digging a ditch with a spoon. <laughs> spoon? Hell, they're gonna let you use your bare hands. Oh, and by the way, yeah, none of you have want, any armor or weapons. They, they want you to use the spoon. You you have you you have rags is what you have. You have no mm -hmm. weapons. You have no armor. <clears throat> that's basically what I started with. Oh, wow, that's inconvenient. <laughs> oh, I thought I just. Well, I won't say anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, how long am I? Uh, basically. Um, confused, I guess. It takes you. It takes you probably. You know, when, after they, after the camp is kind of set up and 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 together. Um, by the time everything's kind of set up, you're 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 about with it now. You um, you still have a point of exhaustion. Um, yeah, I got but, that. But and you'll that'll stay until you get a full night's rest. Um, but you're awake. You're awake and at least able to 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 see what's going on and and actually converse with someone. Uh, Lenny, I want to make you I want to make you to make another Constitution saving throw. Wait, who? Make another Constitution saving throw. Me? Yep.
Um, as you as you guys are kind of mulling over things, all of a sudden you hear <gasps> as you see the the uh, <clears throat> the elf gasp and uh, wake up suddenly. That was Grammy material right there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> So she's she's in rags too. I take it not in her finery. Every you everyone's in rags. Um, you were all uh, at least bound at the wrists. Um, maybe not not to the point where you can't move at all, but uh, to the point that if they open open the 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 back the door in the back, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to just run out. You could probably stand up if you wanted to. He doesn't. Not at first. Can I uh, roll insight to see if I can assess what resources are available? I mean, like, what do the slavers have that I can see quickly? So that would be, like, that would be a perception. Okay. I hope they can't read. Oh Not very perceptive today. Uh, you, you, you are you are in a box with metal rods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, at least you think they're metal. All right. At least you, yeah, they're uh, hard rods. <laughs> the bindings that are holding me are they metal? Are they rope? Are they... they're metal? Mm. Okay. Yep. Can I perceive any kind of locking mechanism? Yeah, they're they're locked. There's a there's a there's a locking mechanism. It's you know wrist shackle uh, or a um, uh, manacle. Have they trimmed my claws? Uh, no. Okay. That's all I want to do right now. Okay. All right. Uh, how many guards are there? Not an enormous amount. Honestly, they don't they don't go they don't go for combat. They're not trying to you gather uh, make a make a um make an insight check. Yeah. <laughs> um You, you see, you, you don't, you don't really know exactly what their their Nestle intentions are. You you know they're they're slavers, um, but beyond that, um, you don't see a whole lot of uh, uh, of of um, guards. There's they don't really run very heavily. There's there's you know, you see what looks like a le- leader and and maybe his assistant. Um, or second in command, and and maybe three or four others, but not many. And outside of the uh, those required to basically run the uh, caravan, outside of those, not that many. Are, are any of them actively watching me? Uh, right now, they're they are kind of uh, working on on the setting. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I, I left somebody out. Um, in in the 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 cart the the um, the cart with you um, is a young human man. Um, How young are we talking? Late teenager. Okay. Maybe early twenties. Human. Young adult. Um, young adult. Um. And a, uh, a an older kind of middle aged uh, dwarf. Um, both of them are out. They're alive. They're breathing. Um, but they're both they're both out of it. So no, no, they're not. They're not really paying too terribly much attention to you. Um, they're kind of going around the, about their business. They're still they're still mulling around. Um, and and with that said, when once the 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 um, the camp is really set up and and um, 
for the night. Uh, Gothi, they uh, they come over to you and say, "All right, come on." And they and and when I say heavy manacles, um, normal manacles are you know around the wrist in a couple places. They're fairly fairly thin. Um, these are attached about, by a solid steel bar. Probably <laughs> these, doubled up. These are about three inches thick, three inches wide. Um, and it, it would take an, um, an an incredible feat of strength uh, to get out of these. Um, you can break these chains. You can't break those chains. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they bring you over and um, have have a very heavy chain uh, run through both sets at your because you have them on your feet and your your wrists run them through and go around a very large tree. <clears throat> Maybe so, you can so break the tree. That's <laughs> that's what's that's what's basically going on right now. Um other than that you don't really see nobody's really, you know, staring at, at the at the the uh, the cart. Hawk just kind of mutters and Elvin about such barbarians treat a lady this way and proceeds to try to kick one of the planks out. They're steel. I thought you said it was a wooden crate with metal bars. Mm -mm. No, it's a it's a steel metal bars. It is it is a it's a steel cage. Okay. Uh, Zeriel, also, you don't understand anything because apparently you don't speak English, any languages. <laughs> <laughs> I speak common. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Speaking common, speaking. and I, I probably speak more languages than anybody else, but now I'll fix it. Okay. Speaking of speaking, I will uh, ask Eleanor in Sylvan uh, Do you speak Sylvan? I do. All right, breaking out of the chains won't be a problem for me, but I'm not sure how to save everyone else. So you see this 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 lizard uh, person. This is the best thing way you can you can uh, describe them. Um, and you've seen lizard folk before, uh, but from what you've seen, is they're typically attacking uh, towns. Um, and uh, working for some type of <sighs> cult or some kind of uh, some kind of minion or something. So you now have a a, a, a lizard man, a lizard folk uh, male, um, having a conversation with you in Sylvan. Hey, he seems more civilized than the people who have changed my clothes, and bound me up like some animal. Just Aww. saying, it prob probably is a little bit of a surprise to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, she's definitely surprised. She's where, the, like, where the hell is languages in this? Yes, uh, It's in the language section. Let me see. I know I set up my languages. I know I was able to pick up my languages somewhere. So I got a default set from my race and or class. Then I got to pick up another one because of intelligence related stuff. Or no, because of my background. I don't think intelligence gives you extra languages anymore. It's uh, in um it's in description. Proficiencies in languages, if you're looking at um the character sheet. Yeah, your character sheet on the D twenty. Yeah, I can see it on the character sheet, but I don't see it in in the character, in, or the in the description. character build in the character builder, it's got background, then skill proficiencies, and then languages right under that. If you just click on the languages, you you can choose one. I uh, don't know. It only gives me one option for a bonus language. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, you may have to go back into the into the like. Uh, if you click select and go to edit character and go back through and select. It. Oh, I think I know uh, why. <laughs> okay. All right, so, so um so what are you guys doing? Uh well I mean 
where is it? Would you mind pulling out, whipping out the pen and giving us a general layout of this area? Or would I need to do some perception rolling? No, there's, I mean, there's nothing really, I mean, I, I, there's nothing really, I'm not, I'm not sticking that closely to any kind of, like, map or anything right now. It's, it's all kind of, you know, you're, 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 you're in a, in a... Because I know I'm in my own little thing. My own mm -hmm. little habitat. Right, you're in, you're in a nether, smaller, um, steel cage on wheels, uh, but by yourself. Okay. I mean, honestly, I can. I mean, I can walk out. Just the uh, lizard man and Sylvan. Like, do you know what they plan to do with us? I would assume sell us somewhere. Did you see where they put my things? <clears throat> As you guys are talking, um, since, like I said, these get, they're not necessarily paying attention to you, but they are still awake. Um, one of them, one of the, you see a, um, fairly, fairly young, um, maybe in her mid twenties, uh, human, um, walk over, uh, crossbow in hand, um, Look, I know what you're thinking. Do I Don't. fire seven shots or six? <laughs> Sorry. This is not personal. Just go along for the ride. You're not, it's not, you know, we're old, 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 old Greeny over there. We have to, we have to deal with him because he's, he's, uh, uh, she's, um, been a bit, been a bit of a problem. She's kind of. She's kind of a bitch. Well, it's good to know if we're going to be beaten and sold into slavery that it wasn't personal. That'll help, right? So make, make, make I, I kind of want to make everybody, everybody make a uh, um a history check. Uh, she's she's. Ah, you're funny. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Uh, uh, training history. What's seriously, that? you had no modifier at all. No. A history right. check. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, fellows, you don't really know much about the history of. Uh, of this plane. Um, right. Though you've been here, you're still very young. Yes. Um, and you really don't know a lot about the history. You've heard uh, there are slavers, um, but you don't really know much about them. Mm -hmm. uh, Lineal, you do know uh, that the one of the kingdoms um, uh, called Feheim, uh, is uh, was a was a group that uh, a kingdom that split off um, mainly around around slavery. Um, you look around and you kind of notice. Uh, Are they the leader using any colors? Say what? Are they wearing any colors? Well, you see, you see the leader who you you kind of assume is the leader because he's the one that's telling people uh, what he's to do. And it, um, you see a, uh, a a a dark red skinned man or humanoid um, with curved, uh, almost black obsidian horns. Oh. Um, Tiefling. You know this is a tiefling. Um, and they are primarily from Feheim, and they are one of the uh, races that typically uh, 
either run slaver guilds or slaver um, organizations or these uh, raiding parties. Um, and this is it, it, it. She is the the woman who's talking to you is is being serious. She's this is not a you know grab a bunch of people, rape and pillage and kill. They are in charge of finding you know what they see as potentially uh, strong slaves at one thing or another who could be brought into a uh, a militia that could be sold off to some powerful duke or some powerful uh, company or something like that. Um, they, they are in the business of breaking, gathering and breaking slaves. They don't, this is not, they're not cruel about it. Um, this is a business though. Right. She's, she's going to be, uh, she's going to ask, do you plan us? Do you plan to bring us to Feheim and sell us into slavery? Is that it? Eventually, yeah. You you are aware of who and what I am. I assume you saw my scroll of pedigree. She chuckles. <laughs> uh, I, okay. I'm worth a lot more than a mere slave. That may be, but that's not my that's not my decision to make. Who's grunting? Who sounds like a chimp? <laughs> <laughs> it was a distant sound. You're not you're not quite sure what it is. She 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 just looks at you and says, Look I I I I've been here. Um, just, just go with it. It's, it's a lot easier. Um, <laughs> me, no speak common, no good. So, <laughs> she kind of just nods her head and, and, and walks back to the camp. <laughs> She's like, she shakes her head like this is personal. So if you you know a little while go a little while goes by, um, and you see the camp kind of starting to to settle down, and uh, the 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 leader and the woman that you spoke to are are both settling down in in in, uh, in camp, and um, after dark, it, it you know, people are 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 starting to sleep. Um, there is a washer up, um, but they're, you know, they're not really trying to to make sure you're going to do it, not going to do anything. What they're looking for primarily is, um, they're looking for people to attack the camp or raiders and uh, you know to 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 attack them. That's they're guarding what the camp from uh, outsiders. They're they're guarding the camp like any 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 camp would. Did they uh, bother to feed us at all? They have not fed you. Okay then. Yeah, I'm probably still stuff. I'm probably still reasonably full from the last meal. <laughs> you, you see, you look over and you see this this bird creature is developing a little bit of like a like a gut. He's got like a little bit of beer <laughs> belly <laughs> developing. You just oh, have it moved this entire time. Chicken. I understand now. <laughs> In a bizarre representation of American domestic policy, he's a fat bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> um so so it it's it's night it's dark um you know the, you have the light of the campfire um there's somebody watching but not really paying too terribly much attention to you um you see you know the people we described uh I described earlier um and and that's it. That's about it. So if I was going to attempt to uh, slip out of my bonds, what would that require? Uh, make a dex 
uh, just straight dex. Check. Now save. I'm going to roll just 2d20 because I'm at disadvantage, but it gets plus 6. So, Why are you at disadvantage? Uh, because of the... Oh, you have... Uh, yeah, the exhaustion. forgot about that. Yep. So I fail. Yep. You uh you wriggle wriggle around and and try to you know do the thing that you you've you've tried before of, of you know kind of cr- manipulating your hands see if you can kind of slide out of the, the shackles. Um, after about fifteen minutes of of trying, uh, twenty minutes of trying, you've developed some sores and cuts on your on your on your hands, but you haven't haven't been able to to get your hands out of them. All right, step two. Can I pick the lock? What are you going to pick it with? I have claws. Okay. Um, you can, you can, you can maybe get your 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 uh, hand around to one of the one of the locks and and use use this now. So I'm already at a disadvantage. You're already at disadvantage. <laughs> Um, but because you're you don't have any tools with you, um, I'm gonna say this is just gonna have to be another straight dex. Okay. Um, I, damn it! Oh man. Um. Uh, you 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 have you're sitting there manipulating your 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 uh, your your nails and and you know. God, if I only had my picks, get this thing open. Ooh, I want to try. I want to um, try. Uh, if I wasn't at a disadvantage, I would have these open. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, I've been watching this uh, curious creature try these bonds, and I'm curious. I want to try the, what he's trying. Okay. Now, you, you're, you're a little bit more restrained yeah. than they are. Okay. Um, you, uh, you can certainly try. Uh, but even if you get your hands free, your your you you still have your leg. Your legs are bound, yeah. and you've got uh something actually around your your body, like a like a chain leather chain type th- a leather and chain that's wrapping around your body. Ah, okay. That's holding actually holding your wings to to you. Right. All right, Zinch, what what you trying to do? Um, I take thing. a look around first and see what's okay. near me. Describe my bonzi. So you, you're in very heavy, very heavy uh, manacles um, at your arms and your your wrists, and there is a chain um, that's locked that's running through uh, the top, through the bottom, and around a tree. And there's a lock that that. Uh, Connects to a few pieces of the chain. Uh, can I test the strength of these bonds? Sure. Make a strength check. Oh, give me a second to make sure I got this right. Make a stealth check first, and then make a make a strength check. Oof. Well, this should be amusing. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Not- Go to make, Not go to make terrible. Your check. Uh, that is. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you, uh, fairly quietly, uh, certainly quiet for you, um, begin to pull pull at the at at the chains to see how how strong they are. Um, there is not even the slightest budge metal. Uh, I enter a rage and try again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't um, think you're going to be able to do that quietly, though. Okay. It's kind of so, an internal rage. He's, he's keeping it inside. <laughs> so, <laughs> roll stealth at disadvantage. What's a disadvantage? Oh, twice and take a yep. yep. And do better than I've done. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Hey. And then roll your roll your strength at advantage. 
but he just kind of whispers Rawr! to himself. And he just growls. Um, you begin pulling, and and with all your might, you feel you feel the metal begin to to give a little bit, and you know that if these were were normal manacles, um, you would have broke right through. Uh, unfortunately, these are not normal manacles, and uh, as you as you have that the the tensing moment, um. Your your rage fades. I bash my head against the tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you, are you going to ba- are you ba- bashing your head against the tree? I, I mean, yeah, honestly, I'll head he, the probably, tree. he probably he okay. probably would take a point of damage from stress right, from, so, from stretching metal with so, his arm. So take take yeah, a point of be. damage and roll stealth again at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Okay, Why can't so I somehow, roll somehow you managed to bang your head against the tree, and quietly, well, quietly, and, they and, don't and no, no one, no one, no one's noticing anything. So go ahead and roll your strength. I can break these chains. Same, same result. You're, you're, they're giving. They're just not quite done yet. <laughs> the same. They're, they're. You, you feel them. Like you, you certainly feel like they're. If you spent the next twelve hours doing this, <laughs> you you might you might be able to get out of them. Uh, uh, can I y- instead of break? The, wait, this is am I trying to break the bonds right now or the chain from the tree? What are you trying to do? Yeah, that's up to you. Uh, the chain from the tree. Okay. Ah. Uh. I mean that's that's fine, but you, you're still not you're still not breaking it. <sighs> All right. Is anybody else doing anything? Oh, wait, There's wait, nothing I can't to do. Undo my. Well, wrist. they're going so to sleep, and they have. Where am I relative to them? Am I here? That you're. Uh, you're fairly close to the camp. Uh, if if you're if you are, uh, if you say the brown is the tree, um, you are. This right here is like the 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 fire. Ah. Um. So you're. You're pretty close, and then there's there's you know there's tents uh, or or sleeping paddocks or something like that, kind of around the fire. There's like one uh, guy in a hammock. Big a tree? Are we talking? It's big. Oh, you cannot put your arms around it. <laughs> Those are some goddamn good rolls. <laughs> yeah, I know that's kind of insane. <laughs> it was, and I made sure that you're not going to get out of those chains. <laughs> I really, I really want to try big. to break to slip free again. Okay, go ahead and uh, go ahead and make a uh, right. uh, make dexterity check. Given that we have time, can he like take ten God or something? It. It's that um, three and the eighteen. <laughs> yeah. So, so as as you're as you're trying to to uh, to get your your hands uh, free. Um, you manage to to kind of roll your 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 fingers over and slip one of your hands out of your out of your uh, manacles. Hooray! That does, unfortunately does not give me an advantage because <laughs> I'm at a disadvantage for everything. Oh, you really ro- only rolled once. No, I rolled two d twenty. Oh, so, I thought th- I thought you rolled. Tw- okay, no, you did not get out. I'm sorry. You okay, so <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. roll two d twenty because I I saw the number and saw twenty one. No, I, I you, see. Uh, you you did not. I'm sorry. That was I didn't read it correctly. So no, you did not. You did not uh, get out. You are still 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 manacled. He's too exhausted to try. I that's it. All right. What about mine? If I didn't have to roll two dice, I would be out twice now. Um, was that your dex? Was that what case, you were yeah. doing? Was yeah, I'm just trying just... to slip, slip, slip out of the out of the manacles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you you do get you manage to get one of your hands out of the manacles. However, keep in mind. Oh yeah, no, you, I still can't do it. You else, yeah. your 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 hands are kind of at your your you know for waist lack of level. better, basically at your at your your waist. Yeah. And your arms are basically pinned to your to your to your body. Yeah, I know. 
So. So I'll let someone else take a turn to try something before I continue. Okay. Anybody else want to do try anything? Um, I know Kathleen said he had a, he was able he could do something. Yeah, I'm trying to decide whether to be more in character to just abandon all of you or not. <laughs> you still um, want decision well, trees? Well, if I can get to one of the others, I was wondering if I could help them free themselves with it, but without a key, there's not really much I can do. So as you guys are um kind of mulling things over and and looking at stuff loafing about you see you see the uh the young boy or young man um start to stir um and um you see him wake up and and kind of shake his head uh with a start and and kind of you know startled because he doesn't really recognize where he is um and he kind of jumps back a little bit who are you? What what's going on? Where am I? Where am I? Which cage was he in? He's in the same one with you guys. You're all, 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 all everyone's in the same cage except for um uh or Bellos. Bellos and Golthy. And Golthy. Yeah. Golthy's tied to a tree. <laughs> Quite heavily, apparently. Yeah. I, get, Quite heavily. I get the cool kids table. Yeah. I'm like an angry T Rex. You know that scene in Jurassic Park where the electric fence fails and the Mother T-Rex comes out? Yeah, that's going to be me in about five minutes to figure this out. That's going to be you eventually. We just need to, choose, we just need to chain this suddenly. We just need uh, Dennis Nedry to break your chain. Yeah. She would uh, meow, whisper to him in common and tell him that to try to stay calm, but we are bound for the slavery market in where's the place again? Ben I'm Hey, you finally that awake. Place. Um, make so you guys all spoke a, at the same time. Yeah, make a uh, persuasion check because this boy right now is is a little frantic. Um, He's rattled. I want to see no, if I can no, figure y'all are, out. Y'all are rolling all kinds of shit. Let's Sorry. let's let's do one thing at a time here. So I was told to roll the persuasion. Yes. yes. Right. You're rolling. Uh, your roll persuasion. persuasion, and you're rolling at a dis- disadvantage. Alexia, That's give attention to your cat. Ah, shit! I forgot about it's that. It's one cat. It's just mine because it's weird and it's attacking the wall. So you need to roll again, please. And you will take the lowest of the two, which is not the lowest. Um, he looks at you and, and while he, he is glad to have someone explain what's going on, uh, he still looks like a frightened animal. Um, and, and is, is beginning to have that, like starting to thrash around a little bit, uh, not quite to that point, but he's like, you can kind of see it in him that he's he's going to start like you know just going into that like thrashing rage uh to try to uh n- because he doesn't know what else to do uh oh anybody else going to try to do anything yeah i'm going to oh. tell him i'm probably going to fail if i have to make a roll but until i save your strength we're not in immediate danger right now i'm going to try and slip my other hand out he looks at you, and now, now he sees. Uh, oh shit! I forgot. Lizard, That's probably not going to help. A lizard, a lizard folk uh-huh. talking to him, um, and and you see him just close his eyes and be, and he just starts. He just starts kind of. You see him just muttering to himself. No, no, no! I can't um, sleep. Clowns will eat me. Can't sleep. Clowns will eat me. <laughs> not like this. Um, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he 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 is. 
Ah, whatever. That's, that's, better. That's, like, that's better. That's better than screaming. Yes, actually. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, what are y'all doing? I want to try and get my other hand out. So, uh, you're not going to get your other hand out. Your other hand is free. Both your hands are free. You just oh. have manacles. You have manacles on one hand, and one hand is free. Oh, but guess. you're still kind of, you're, you're just kind of, so let me you know, you're see. just kind of hanging out. Like, you, you have stuff on your feet, and you have your 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 body, basically, uh, Can I prop myself wrapped up, up in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in some, some kind of chain and leather corset. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Let's see. I know can where you I, can get one of those. Can I stand myself so, up by leaning on the side of the cage? Yeah, you can stand up. All right. Where is that lock? So, um, what I was trying to do was gauge where we are based on what I know. Uh, so I rolled a knowledge local 16 and a uh, survival of 12. So you would roll... There isn't really a knowledge local in 5e. There's okay. so you would probably be a history check for that. Well, it's a, I just rolled a knowledge check. I guess it's really all the intelligence check. Be intelligence, or, uh, <laughs> or if you have if you, if you have his if you're perce- if you are proficient in history, you could add your proficiency modifier. Um, yeah. So if you you do have a point of uh, of uh, exhaustion, though, correct? I know. I rolled. I rolled the. Two additional d20s, and neither one of them was less than the one that I, the one the rolls that I had made. Okay, so I, I gotta. <laughs> we we need to keep these a little bit more kind of, you know, because I, I can't had, tell what. So what did you roll for? What did you roll for your history? Uh, the history was the uh, sixteen. Right, but you didn't roll the, that again because you rolled that I once. I rolled the seventeen uh, as the second roll. I, basically, I rolled them in the same way. I rolled the history, and then I rolled the survival. So then I rolled two additional d20s to see if I rolled less than those two scores. And okay, so, okay, I see what you did. Okay, yeah. all right. So you got a 16 for your history, and you got a 12 for your survival. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> um, you have spent most of your time in in uh, the northern uh, part of. Uh, the continent uh, in Ice, Ice Mount. Um, you have seen these uh, raiding parties before, um, but you never really knew exactly what they were. Um, you'd seen you'd seen groups like this. Um, you know that you were on a road. Um, Heading south, um, southwest, uh, towards Feheim, or what you would assume is Feheim. Um, but you are, as far as you know, you are still in, still in Ice Mount. Um, you know, there's a couple of, uh, there's a small village not far from here. Uh, you don't remember exactly how, where it is because you've only kind of seen it in, in periphery. Um, you might be able to make your way back there, but uh, that's about that's about what you know. Well, do I know approximately how far we are away from the settlement that we're being taken to? Oh, you're you're days, okay. days away. Yeah, I would. I, you would probably because you're nowhere near. Um, you're still deep in in Ice Mountain. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Yeah, that makes things easier. Wait, <clears throat> did you say my car? Did you say my cage was on wheels? They need to feed us. Um, it 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 is yeah. It's a caravan. You're, you're being it's a it's several several caged wagons. wagons essentially that are that have been built with cages that are being pulled by horses. Oh, okay. Never mind. Continue. Since you don't seem to be inclined to let me try anything at all. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm willing to... Just... Hmm? I was just going to say, I'm willing to sit here and wait until the other night. They have to give us water tomorrow. So. 
Uh, make an intelligence check. You've been awake during this whole thing, right? You you rolled pretty high, I think, didn't you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You really yeah, 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 make, an, make, it, make a uh, make an intelligence check. Okay. Okay, seventeen. Uh, they're not going to give you any water. Oh, that was wisdom. Sorry, intelligence would be fifteen. That's fine. They're not going to give you any water. Then we're going to die. They're going to die after th- th- tomorrow, like they have to. <clears throat> There's no way I can silently communicate with the people in the cage, is there? Depends on how good you are with eyebrow gestures. <laughs> I have these can't, but I don't think you do. You can wave at them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys! Yeah, okay, sure. I'll try and communicate through gestures. I'll wave at them them okay <laughs> so you guys see you guys see this this ha- this this big female half orc really heavily bound chains looking like she's like flapping her hands uh make a stealth check <laughs> <laughs> because you do have you are chained okay all right uh, you, you kind of hear some some rustling off into the distance, but nobody uh, nobody pays too much attention. You kind of you kind of hear the party. <laughs> um, so you you see you see the 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 half elf kind of or the half orc kind of flapping, waving, trying to to wave. You assume is a wave at you. <laughs> All right, from nice. a mechanical standpoint, how does adding strength checks together? The work. So if if you can have someone assist you, um, which would give you advantage on a, on a check. Okay, so it's not likely to make it any higher than what he was rolling earlier. No, you wouldn't. No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's not a cumulative. You would just get. You would just get advantage. Okay. So it would cancel out your exhaustion. You... Correct. But they see me. They yes. know you're there. Nobody's sitting there watching you. But they 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 know but you're I there. They're... <laughs> I, oh, you're talking about you're talking about uh, the the rest of the rest of the group. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure yeah. I'm sure. Yes, they can see you. You're you're lit up by the firelight, so I mean, they can see you. So I'm right. watching but an they... orc flap trying to fly yep. away from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I point. Who was picking the lock? Trying to pick the lock earlier. I point at them. Uh, yeah, over there. Yeah, you. Oh, we. I that's that's true too. We, we didn't really we didn't really describe. So you see you see a small little like. Um. I don't know what the hell you are. Uh, Medium crash like a, feline character. You see person. what it looks like what looks like a, a large cat person. <laughs> um cat like humanoid. Um and that was the, the, the one. I should you know. Saw. I've been traveling alongside them for the past few days at least, taking helping take care of them and shit. Like, right. Well right. they were they're not really taking care of them, but yeah, they're they're you've seen right. them. You have, you've seen yeah. them, yeah. So I point at the the cat person who is picking the lock, and I try to make a few gestures. I um, I, I guess I up, can. I grab my lock with one hand, and I point at him, and then I point at the bird, and I make a plucking motion with my free hand at the neck at my own neck, and. Like I'm holding something with my free hand, pick at the lock. Make a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the opposite check. of charade. Because I think the real me has figured out what he means to say. I don't know if <laughs> in-game me has figured out what he's trying to say. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, communicate yeah, to them to pick right. the bird. Right. I know. Make a performance check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the, this is when Plus we have a party one. member snap the other one's neck because <laughs> 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 so I so, tilt my head to the so, side in a confused manner. So cereal, you see, you see this half orc making gestures that look like slitting someone's throat, and then pointing at the bird person. I look over at the cat person and shake my head. 
<laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's see how bad this is. Really? Happy <laughs> eat the bird. <laughs> right, they're not gonna. Do... <laughs> because they won't feed you or give you any drink, you need to resort to cannibalism. What is happening? <laughs> I think um, the orc wants us to stab the bird in his neck with his own feather. <laughs> I think. Well, it looks like they are feeding him, so maybe they plan to feast upon him so, later, so it just saves so, him the pain. So, Philos, you hear very quietly something about stabbing bird and neck from from the small. The small uh, uh, feline mm-hmm. humanoid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love this game sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is great. Are, are you sure that's what the orc is trying to get you to do? <clears throat> you know, so, I, I'm not gonna say for certain. Could I roll? Because... So, so, Golfy, you you do not feel like the intention of your message. You don't think your message got through? Was was very well received. <laughs> Wouldn't um, it be great though if I had one of his feathers? I might be able to pick these stupid locks. So I try to. So you so, uh, Golfy, make a make a make a make a investigation check. Okay. Uh, investigation check. Mm-hmm. For me, that's actually decent. That's a plus four. All right. So you hear you hear very faintly from 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 the uh, from the tabaxi or the 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 um, feline creature. You hear feather and pick. Do I do I hear this? Yeah. Wait, from who? Who do I hear this from? Hear from, from, from the person. from the from the creature you were trying to signal before. I, ex- I, I excitedly like take my head up and like like you yeah, that like you know like fucking. Yeah, so, you see, so you see the uh, you see the the half orc very excitedly rage mm. start rage nodding. Nod my head. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't even perform check the non my fucking head. Alright, I think that's what I needed. It's one right. of the universal gestures. Shake my head up and down, shake my head up and right, flip you the bird. <laughs> so, what, are you, what, are you, what, are you, what are you rolling for? Huh? What that are you was rolling for? decent check you told me to. No, you already rolled that. Yeah, he that, just, was the, yeah. That, that was the same roll. That is the oh. roll. The 15 is the roll. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. Yeah, you 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 heard him. You heard him. Can but I, you wait. you don't have you don't have disadvantage. No. Does he? I rolled disadvantage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So currently, Zerial uh, and Elenial have disadvantage. Okay. Yes. No one else has disadvantage. No one else. All right. Uh, All right. I'm gonna look f- over at the others. I have a plan that I think may have a small chance of escape. Do you want to wait until you're better rested, or try it now? Unless they feed us, it ain't going to make a difference, so we might as well try it now. Alright, I turn myself into a spider and crawl out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're all sitting there, <clears throat> and and suddenly, you see this, this lizard just bam, and he's gone. Just disappeared. Ooh, ooh, do I notice this? Yeah, you all see it. I mean, you're you're all kind of having this conversation, and you see him, I mean, and I all of a sudden, you, 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 see, you see his you his you his his manacles just kind of kind of flop on the ground. <laughs> all right, assuming they don't scream, um, I'm gonna as soon as I'm out of the cage, I'll turn back into my normal form and pluck a feather off of the bird, dude. Well, luckily, we're not using my draw character, who's afraid of spiders. <laughs> so you, <laughs> right? you see, you see him. You see the same. Uh, lizard creature, bam, back into existence. Apparently, but outside the cage. outside outside the crate cage, um, and he begins walking over to uh, to you, Velos. Engage staring contest. <laughs> okay, I whisper to him. I need a feather.
Yeah, I don't care if you respond. I'm just going to take one. I don't know what so you, you expect a, me to do. Uh, so you pluck a feather. Um, yeah, uh, take what it you, back. What, the, what are you doing with take, it? I told you take to it prepare back to get locker, plucked. What, what are you doing with it? Take it back to the the guy that was picking the locks and hand okay. it to him. So, Zeriel, you uh, you look up and you, as you see um, the lizard creature hand you <clears throat> hand you a feather. Okay, I will uh, attempt to pick the locks with the feather. Okay, all right. Make a uh, so this is a this is still not a lock pick, so it's still still going to be well. You're at disadvantage anyway, so yeah, just go ahead and roll. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Go ahead and roll uh, your. But that would be sleight of hand, I believe. Yep. Make it count. I can only do that once. Oh, the shape shifting thing. Oh, that's wow. wow. Nice. So very good. Yeah, you you managed to get get the uh, um get the feather kind of shaped into you rub it against uh the metal and you get it shaped into into the shape of a pick. Um, you get it into the keyhole keyway. Fiddle with it a little bit, but you very quickly manage to uh, pop the lock on your uh, manacles, and you are your hands are free. Oh, I was just gonna say, you stick the feather <clears throat> and it just pops open on contact. <laughs> <laughs> he just points a feather at it. There's, and a, happens. there's a flash of light, and everyone's manacles are, are open. No, no, I'm just, no, no, no. <laughs> just your own. <laughs> um, so you are now still inside the cage, but you have a makeshift pick. And uh, you have a pair of manacles that are opened. And you have a pair of manacles. All right. Let me watch him. I am going to slowly and quietly unlock everyone's manacles as best I can. Okay. Go ahead and and, and make your uh, slide of hand checks. Um, I'll say you have advantage on these, so you don't you don't have to roll at disadvantage anymore since you. You kind of have have an idea of how to do it since you're kind of just repeating the same task. Say, Kathleen, are you just standing outside that cage now? <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> the, the lizard guy is just kind of sitting there, kind of you know, thinking. Do 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 do. Pondering his options, like hmm, he could right. just walk away right now. Yep. I have the thought crossed my mind. Love. So who who are you? Uh, who is that role for? I'm not sure. Uh, let's go with uh, Elenial. Okay. All right. So the uh, the feline kind of humanoid walks over, uh, comes over to you, Elenial, and um, begins picking the the locks on your manacles. You hope so far. Gives him a little nod of thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're uh, you're um you get you managed to get her her out of out of her uh her manacle. Okay. And uh, so we just to speed is... this up. As long as you roll a fifteen or higher, you you get them out. Okay. Um, the assumption is so. Let's let's do this. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. Okay. At a disadvantage, presumably. Uh, yes. Advantage. I sit down and act like I am still handcuffed, just in case right. the guard looks this way. So I rolled a thirteen. Yep. So, um, you trying very hard to make it not make much noise. Um, you do see at one point the uh, the the watcher starts kind of looks that way, and 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 everyone everyone just kind of freezes and kind of sits back the way they were sitting. Um, he doesn't really pay him too much attention to you. He's great. Yeah, it's like you're you're standing on the other side, so it kind of looks like you're still in the cage. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll just assume over the next you know thirty minutes, you kind of slowly work your way around. Um, there is still the dwarf who's passed out. Um. All oh, right. And the young yeah, I'm man. Definitely who, gonna. I, I'm definitely going to do the dwarf last, but I'm going to unlock everybody. Okay, so you work, work around. So in, in 30, 30, 40 minutes, you know, working really kind of slowly and, and, and methodically, not to make too much noise, 
uh, you manage to get everyone's uh, manacles unlocked. And go ahead and make a roll. I mean, assuming. So what, what are you going to do now? Uh, I'm going to unlock the door to the cage. Okay. So go ahead and make another sleight of hand guidance. check. Guidance? Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. That'd be plus two. And guidance gives you... What does that give you? You touch one willing creature once before the spell ends. The target can roll a d4 and add that number to the roll of an ability check of its choice. It can roll the die before or after making them the ability check. The okay. spell then ends. All right. Okay. So then roll your roll your two uh, slot of hand checks. Take the lowest, and then you can roll a d4 and add that to it if you need. <clears throat> it costs me no material components, so I can cast it. You manage to uh, the lock is is well. It's different. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, while while the lock is different, um, you manage. To, it takes a little bit longer to get it, but you manage to get it get it open. Yeah, it's like you okay. add a d4, not another d20. Oh no, he has a no. no. I have a disadvantage. But he wrote, uh, yeah. oh no, it's a twenty-four and a twenty-two. So you got the the door unlocked. Um, if you want to open the door, go ahead and make another stealth check at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait to open the door because okay. I don't know that everybody is ready to be exposed. So I'm going to sit back down and uh, discuss. All right. Okay. Everyone is free. What? How do we want to proceed? Quack. Quietly, obviously. <laughs> Wait, did he break my chains or no? No. You're the only one I can't uh, get to because you're you're by the tree. Quack. I also can't get to the bird because he's not near in the cage with us. I I hope you don't quack no, because I, I may don't. have to I may have to kill you with rocks falling. <laughs> quack. Well, it's it's not a real quack. It's just me saying quack. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Bond, yes. What was that? He, I believe he's a snake oil stuck, it's sir. <laughs> All right. So what do you what are you guys discussing? Next step. I would suggest running. We're not going to get very far if we just run. We're going to have to at least dis uh, discomfort these slavers, or we will not get. Ver we will be back here tomorrow. And in worse shape. And in worse shape. <clears throat> now we're going to have to deal with them. I am a caster. I can do a lot of healing, but that's. Pretty much it. Can you do something about our condition? We're exhausted, by the way. That requires greater restoration. I'm just no. I, my character doesn't know that. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm really good at giving massages. <laughs> yeah. So. At the moment, no. Hmm. Fair enough. I can cure cure injuries, but I can't carry cure our exhaustion. Well, then we shall just have to steal some food from the guards and get some rest. How well can I hear them from my cage? Fairly well. I mean, you can't make out if they're talking very quietly, but you've been able, you've been able to kind of. I mean, unless you guys are really trying to talk so quietly that he can't hear you. So I, I'm assuming you're trying to make it so he can hear you as well. Quick Trying question. to talk quietly enough that the guard doesn't hear us. I don't care about the guard. <clears throat> right. right. <laughs> Quick yep. question. Uh, where do the um, where do the slavers store their equipment? Uh, make a perception check. I've been traveling with over day. Oh, also. Um, Give me a second. How Plus. much? Sorry. Um, the number of guards. Did you say that already? Or there's, the number of slavers, I should say. There is about three guards, and then the tiefling uh, head of the party, and then his assistant. And then there's a there's a couple of a uh, couple of what you assume is probably more like commoners or possibly even slaves um, who are running the uh, uh, the caravan or so you about, know, running the horses. About five to seven of them. Yeah. So yeah, between. Yeah, five between five and seven or so. 
So do I know where they store their shit? Yeah, so <clears throat> a, part of the caravan is is there's a supply wagon. Okay, but um, not like in and, their tents with them while they sleep. No, they they have I mean they have their equipment with them. But as cool. far as like the stores and and where you see you have seen um where uh when they capture someone um when they strip them and take their equipment and take whatever they have there is a uh uh a chest that's in the supply car the okay. supply wagon where they can Okay. Them. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm free is I'm going to throw flaming logs from the fire onto their sleeping tent. Well, you're not okay. free yet, so. I know. I don't know not if you want to say that out loud. <laughs> I'm not character... saying it out loud. <laughs> Does my character know anything about druids? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, probably, I mean. I'm pretty sure I would. Nature or religion, or, probably. My, 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 my people are, are probably nature nature oriented you to begin probably with, so. have had some some run in with it with with druids or some type of you know nature based magic druid and druid accessories yes That's uh, funny. she doesn't look jewish <laughs> sir <laughs> druid how dare you i do not know your name i apologize but would I don't know if it would be within your power to investigate the supplies tent and maybe see if our equipment is. There. You you don't know what you don't know what that is. I I assume there's a supplies tent. You can assume that, but you don't know where it is or what it is. I mean, I didn't tell him that tent. I said supplies tent. <laughs> You're just gesturing in the general area of the camp. Yeah. I mean, I did see him turn into some uh, supl- a spider, so I can change once more for an hour, and then not again. Then not again. So I can find Ever. your supplies, but I won't be able to help you in a fight afterwards. Fair. Is anyone else versed in stealth? I would go, but I am somewhat disabled at the moment. Depends on how hard he's looking. Depends on how hard who's looking. You. I'm not looking for stealth. Oh, okay. No, I'm, uh, I'm asking if someone stealthy, else. But I am stealth. pretty exhausted. I can You're try more stealth. Safe than I am. <laughs> <clears throat> Just so I didn't you know, know how long I was out. Kath Gilead, I'm still staring at you. I'm ignoring you. Fair enough. Yeah, Elenial, you you don't remember much of anything. You remember being uh, you were um the last thing you remember you you were on uh, a road between uh a couple of towns in Ice Mount um traveling with with uh a small group but nothing no one that was necessarily very very close to you um and when you camped similar uh, event you were um you the last thing you remember was camping for the night so and none of those people are around no <clears throat> well i can try yeah. to find the uh they're all asleep i can try to find the supplies tent without bothering the guard over there and without using shape change if you're comfortable doing so i will not ask otherwise so, uh, Goltha, you kind of hear them discussing, but you can't quite hear exactly what they're saying. Right. Um, you can uh, hear them talking. Maybe you can kind of pick up uh, supplies. Um, tent. Maybe a little bit more, but not much more than that. Uh, Is it time for another Goltha performance? Eleanor kind of like nod towards the, uh, the half work, like, maybe we should free them too. I would like to free our large friend, but I f- would like to know where our supplies are before we engage in combat. I point in the general directions of the supply. Uh, the supply. What the fuck is it called? Tent. Wagon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I can attempt to take out their their guard, but if I fail, we, we everything will happen very quickly. No different than if we get caught. 
I say it's worth it. <laughs> Is it going to be a comedy or a tragedy? A comedy. You guys, you guys have a. Uh, you guys have uh, backup character sheets? <laughs> <laughs> if this shit goes south, I'm running off into the trees. So y'all can go hang. Yeah. So um, I would suggest... Make, make a, uh, uh, I, I do want... Um, after saying that, or before you really get that out of your mouth, Zeriel, I want you to make a make a uh, intelligence check. Do I have to roll that in? Yeah, I do. Disadvantage. So I got a 10. I don't think I'm going to get less than that, but I can still roll it. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Please roll a one. <laughs> Damn. No. Um, you, you got a pretty good look at the, uh, the tiefling. Um, the guard? The head of the, head the, of the party. Oh, okay. Um, while the rest of the group, rest of them are, are nothing more than kind of, you know, hired bandits. Um, the, the tiefling is not someone that you think, uh, you could tangle with. Well, I don't want to tangle with him if I have a choice in the matter. I want him, I want him to stay <laughs> sleeping quietly while I take out the guard and we escape. Okay, I'm just 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 letting you know that that uh, you did see that he was um, heavily armored and, and well not well equipped to... and uh, quite possibly a spellcaster. Ooh, a heavily armored spellcaster. I want to stab him armored. in his neck while he's asleep. Not heavily armored, but heavily well equipped. Um, he's well endowed. Wink, wink. Well, if we can take out the guard and not wake up the camp, then I can stab him in his neck while he's asleep. Doesn't matter how heavily or, heavily in, uh, or how powerful they are, they tend to die when you stab them in the neck while they're asleep. <clears throat> <laughs> and if he doesn't, then I will uh, scream and run and, fl and flee in terror. All right. So, what are y'all doing? Uh, the 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 three of you are free, as well as the young young boy who is um, looks thankful, but is Terrifying. is looking at everyone kind of like he really doesn't know what to do. He's um, he needs an adult. He needs an adult. <laughs> He, he's really, really not sure what he—he he hasn't really said much. He is a little bit in shock. Uh, he has not really been able to contribute very much. I expect um, him to run into the woods if, if all hell breaks loose. <laughs> in fact, I tell him as much. If all hell breaks loose, you run that way. He—he he, um, he looks at you and and uh, he says, "My village is not far from here." Um, I, I, I can get back to it. I, if if you want, I could, uh, I could help you. I could help you get to it. to the village. Yes. Ooh, can well, I hear that? He he gets he gets a little he when he starts kind of thinking uh, about this. He you see him kind of his mind kind of start to click a little bit more. Um, and, and and he 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 kind of sits up a little bit more. He says, "Yeah, we can. We um, it's it's not more than <clears throat> it's a few hours uh, uh from here, but it's it's not far through the woods. Um, we we could make it. And and um, I like this plan. You hear from the other cage." <laughs> well, either way, we have to take care of the guard because if we do not, he will alert the others while we're running, and also we cannot uh, help the orc or the bird. Uh, 
some uh, question about the area. Well, I have ever seen a panther. Yes. Wait, in this area? I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Quite possibly. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn myself. Um. Well, I wait. I can. I can become one and go find. See if I can get a weapon for you out of the tent. I can carry one weapon back with me in another form. My claws can act as weapons. So we can not risk that unless you want to do that. All right, then between the two of us, we should be able to kill the guard quickly enough. Okay. If it helps, I'm trained in unarmed combat. It doesn't. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> if it helps, I can snuff out that campfire. That would cause a commotion. We do not want that right now. He's the only one awake. We just need to kill him quickly. Exactly. Um, as you guys are having this discussion, it's been it's been a it's been a few hours um, since since the the the, the camp has kind of settled. Um, you hear a little bit of rustling from one of the tents. Um, and <clears throat> you you see one of the, one of the guards uh, kind of doing one of these like backing out of the tent. Um, what are you gonna do? She whispers, uh, "Turn your bounce still." So, uh, Hacky, I are uh, Kathleen. I need you to make a uh, a dexterity hey. check. Okay. I need you to make a perception check first to see if you notice it. I think I do. Okay. <laughs> and then I need you to make you a, dis a, a dexterity check to see how quickly you can react to it. Not too bad. All right. So you can do something before they see you. What do you want to do? Well, at this point, we're going to get discovered. And I turn into a dire wolf. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we can't kill them both in one turn. Might as well just go out fighting at this point. Well, they haven't seen um, you. No one's seen you. Uh, well, they still haven't seen me, so I'll just do that. You can just turn okay. to a dire wolf and wait. So are you going to try to hide, or what are you going to do? Uh, Yeah, I'll hide. Okay. So you... uh. Slowly run uh, over behind one of the um, the uh, the other wagons behind where the the bird person is, um, and uh, you see that the one of the guards get up, kind of stretch a little bit, glance kind of over in your direction, over at the the. Um, Cart bars. Look at the look at the half orc. He doesn't really see anything. Um, he's he's half asleep, anyways. Um, he rolled a three on his perception. Um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> sure, he, it's only a ten foot long dog. He he, uh, he goes over to the other guard, and you see him tap him on the shoulder, and um, you see the other you one know, nod, and he says. I don't know. I heard I heard a clinking or something like that a while back, but and you hear this very very faintly. I think uh, Goltha, you can actually hear this a little better than the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. But other than that, no, I haven't I haven't seen anything. Um, so they end up. The other one that was was out uh, on on the guard walks back to the tent and um, crawls back inside, and and uh, now there's a different guard sitting out there. <clears throat> well, that's fortuitous. All right. What are you doing? If we can All wait right. a few minutes so that that guard can go to sleep and take out this guard, it should be some time before anyone wakes up again. Hacky, what are you doing? You, you're in a direwolf form. I just behind. I just nod my head at the guard at um, in his uh, in Zeroil's direction and just kind of wait for his instruction to attack. 
I curl up and take a nap. So what are you going to do? Uh, I believe we should wait a few minutes and then see how quietly we can take down the guard. Okay, so you'll wait a few minutes. <clears throat> Nothing really changes. Um, guard is sitting out on the the far far side of the camp. Um, you know, it's, it's basically kind of if you if you think about it. Um, oops. Damn it. Um, this is kind of the the road, and you guys so you guys are kind of off the road. Um, the guard is is kind of up on this side, kind of keeping an eye on things. <clears throat> And you guys are are uh, in that in that that tent or that cage. All right. Well, no. Well, fate uh, fate waits for no man. If you wish to take your attempt, do so now. I shall try and escape and quietly and assist you if I can. Okay. So, are you opening the the door to to go out? Actually, I'm going to ask uh, uh, so, someone who's not impeded to open the door quietly. I mean, there's the guy outside. <laughs> yes, please, open the door. Uh, I can try to nuzzle it open, I guess. <laughs> so, not the only person that, so the only people that are in there with you right now is a lineal is in there with you, and... Also um, and the young boy who... Alright, I'll open uh, the damn door. <laughs> okay. Roll, roll a stealth check at disadvantage. <clears throat> oh, God. Yeah! Guidance. Guidance. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have that option. If you want, well, you so choose. This thing creaks like a door in Dracula's <laughs> castle. Uh-huh, it's a 12. <laughs> so you very carefully, you start to open the door. You hear a little bit of a... And you, you just freeze for a second. Roll yeah. CVP yourself. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little pee comes out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you slowly take, taking, taking your time. Uh, you, you, you could probably do it, do it faster in a different situation, but right now you are, um, just trying to make sure you don't make any noise with this, this door. Um, and you slip down out of out of the out of the cage, <clears throat> and slip around. So what are you doing? You're out of the cage. What are you doing? Doing? I'm going to signal for the druid to uh, proceed first, and then I'm going to follow slowly and quietly. Is it possible to add the uh, character markers to this? Uh. If it's too much trouble, we can just continue as we were. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing really to track. I mean, it, it's it's unless you guys really do something stupid, it, it's fine. So you guys are, I'm assuming you guys are going to make your way over over to the uh, the guard um, yes. and sneak, try to sneak your way over there. I'm assuming you guys are going to make your way over there together and try to attack together. Yeah, I, I was going to uh, follow behind because I'm concerned that I may. Uh, because I'm disabled, I may uh, trigger the guard to look that direction s- or sooner rather than later. But uh, yes, that's a general thing. Okay. So if we get there, if we get there without without him noticing, we will attack together. If not, I want the dire wolf to rip his throat out. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So, uh, Kafkian, make yes, a sir. stealth a stealth check. Meh. All right. So you um, you're in panther. No, you're in dire wolf, right? Oh yeah. <clears throat> panther would have been better, but I was expecting an immediate attack when the dude came out. Hmm. So you were you were not a small creature. You're 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 fairly big. Yeah. I am counted yeah. as a large. I'm probably about seven yeah. or eight feet long. Yeah. Jeez. Um, pretty terrifying. It's a big doggy. All right. 
So you kind of stalk up behind this um, this guard, <clears throat> and you get close enough that if you wanted to make an attack, you could. Not close enough that that he can really detect that you're there, but um, if you wanted to make a, an attack, you could. Let's do it. Okay. So roll. Uh, let's see. Your bite is it's plus five to hit. Two d six plus three damage. Yep. So roll ahead and roll your. God damn it! <laughs> roll it with. Uh, I'll give you advantage on that since he is. Uh, I'll take it. Wears. Fourteen. Okay. <clears throat> is he flat footed? So he's he you you. You've surprised him essentially, <clears throat> um, <Okay>. and <clears throat> um, so uh, you go and very kind of slowly at, at the beginning. You um, then very quickly go and bite around the throat. Good roll your damage. Eight points. Um, I'm not sure if this would apply, but it says if a target is a creature, it must succeed on DC 13 strength or be knocked prone. Okay. All right. He's already sitting down, so <clears throat> and he does not succeed. Down. Um, I, I would say at this point, while he is not dead, uh, you basically have draws around his throat, and he cannot breathe or speak. Um, so make a make a stealth check. Make another stealth check. Yep. Sixteen. Yeah. Um, so he he's he's sitting there. He he goes. You see him kind of going for his his short sword. He is he is uh, really just desperately to do anything. Um, he managed to get his gets his blade out and um, um, goes to Wouldn't swing. I have a surprise on him as well? Well, you didn't say you were attacking. I didn't know you were. Are you well, are I you mean, attacking? When I see the werewolf attack, I'm going to. Okay. All right. Well, quietly so go, go ahead and um, you go up and make your attack. Yep. So you go up and um, slowly run behind him and plunge your dagger into his chest. Um, uh, up my claws. <laughs> your claws. I'm sorry. <clears throat> still, still kind of disequipped. So go okay. roll, roll your damage. Does it count as sneak attack or no? Uh, mm. yeah, you know, he, he is very distracted right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you would have uh, you would have advantage on this, and oh, okay, uh, so I didn't even need to roll the other. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's it. So go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah. So, so, so you, you, you shove your 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 claws into his chest, um, and you feel your fingers, uh, the claws in your finger pierce his heart, um, and you you hear him kind of shut, you and, and you, uh, 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 uh and in, in your jaws you kind of feel the the blood, you know, suddenly surge, um, and it t it's like. He, you you hear him take that 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 little shudder, and suddenly nothing. And his status just went from employed guard to field rations. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, Kathleen, because uh, you have not eaten in a couple of days, uh, and you now have this this this. Basically, blood on your on in your mouth. You man, you carcass. start. Uh, 
this <laughs> you begin you know going at this uh this car- carcass and start eating some of the meat sure um, shit i'd do right. that in my normal form <laughs> not entirely false all right yeah. so i should have uh, you as far as you can tell no one has seen anything um you still have velos tied up uh in his cage um what is everyone else doing millennial well, seeing that the guard is taken out, I'm going to try to sneak off towards the supply line. Okay. All right. Go ahead and make a make a stealth check. And this would be at... I'll give this to you... Yeah, I go with that disadvantage still. Because the, the gate is already open. Yes. But Just trying to see if you stumble and wake up someone. <laughs> If this is a failure, I can roll uh, favored by the gods. Go ahead and roll again. A d20 or the 2d4? Same thing. You, roll, you have to roll at disadvantage. So you roll two, take the lowest. Okay. All right. So uh, as you're walking, um, you said you wanted to take. You said you wanted to take full. What did you what did you say you were gonna do? Try to make my way to the supply wagon. No, you said you were gonna do something like favored by the gods or something. If I failed, I can roll uh, favored by the gods if I think it will make a difference. It's only two D four though. Six would be a failure. So go ahead and roll your two D four. Yep. It's an eleven. Um so <clears throat> you uh you begin to make your way uh, around the backside of the cart towards the, uh, the front where you, you think it, the, uh, the supplies are held. Um, Which size the front? Front I would think be the, I would the, be the, smart enough. Yeah, the front would be uh, up, uh, up here. Okay. Um, and uh, you, you start to trip on a, uh, a branch. Um, but you manage to catch yourself um, and make your way up to the uh, supply wagon. Um, looking inside, make an investigation check. Still disadvantage? Yes. And uh, Kathleen and, and Zeriel, you see uh, Elenial making her way up, and you see her kind of start starting to crawl back up in the back of the of this wagon. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, move towards uh, Golfy and uh, attempt to pick his manacles. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So as you're looking in the back, uh, um, you see several different chests. Uh, all they all look like they are uh, locked. Um, but you would guess that there is, uh, whether it is your equipment that you had, or at least some type of supplies uh, are probably held in those. Some type of supplies or valuables are held inside those locks. Inside those boxes. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to pick them. Okay. All right, so, um, Zero, you make your way over to um, Golthy. Golthy, you see him. uh, You see the the small feline creature kind of sneaking around, uh, going wide around the fire, uh, coming up just to the edge, uh, trying to stay in the shadows. Um, and he begins working on the lock uh, that's on the chain um, around the tree. 
go ahead and roll a uh, sleight of hand. The disadvantage. Hey, that worked out <laughs> nice. great. Um, so yeah, you pop pop it open. Uh, the uh, the lock pops open, um, and Gilthy, you are still bound to the wrists and the and the feet, uh, but you are now no longer tied to the tree. <laughs> well, hooray! I'll try to wave the uh, feline over to the, uh, the wagon. Not I'm, saying I'm going to work on the the orc's feet first. Okay. Um, so you go ahead and, and make another uh, sleight of hand check for each of them. Or you just make one for both of them. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you, uh, you work on it for a little while longer than previous ones. Um, you, you have a little bit of frustration with it. Um, in the process, you feel like you're almost there and you almost have it and the quill breaks. I knew that was coming. Um, but Gothi is free. He's no longer bound to the tree, so he can move. Uh, maybe not at full speed. I would say probably half speed. But... <laughs> and clank. <laughs> so if you wanted to try to get, an, go get another pluck, another feather, or try to retrieve your tools and use uh, an actual, you know, see if they ha- actually have, uh, All right. have your, 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 your tools. tools. Tools sound like the best option, but first I'm going to go retrieve a feather so that I can get the tools. <laughs> so you go over to the <laughs> to, to Velos, Velos, the, sure the second got, person, the I'm second sure person he's got tonight, feathers on the, at the bottom come up of the cage. to you and pluck the feather off your off your leg. <laughs> I'm sure there are feathers on the floor. <laughs> I'm yeah, say, I'm, sure. I'm asleep I'm, right now. I'm sure. I'm sure there's there's feather. You can you can get a feather with plug. So you get a feather and make it make your way up to the to the supply uh, wagon. Um, so I don't even notice. And so I'll just continue. You probably get an I keep an extra on you. And uh, go ahead and make um, go ahead and make one more slot of hand check uh, with your with your disadvantage. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> So you start on the first um the first one and 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 you you're working working the 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 quill um and as you do you you feel it start to start to break um and you back off just just right before it breaks and you do remember that you you were able to use your um your nails to do a little bit as well so yeah All right, I'm going to pray to the gods and uh, attempt again. I'll give him guidance. Okay. okay. So you, you call, um, you hear uh, I use the uh, Elenio, uh call you over and say what? Like, guidance is the okay. ability that she used earlier. Right, I think it is touch, isn't it? Wait, are you sure trying to unlock the? Oh wait, you guys are you guys are both in there. Never mind. So you're already there. So you lay your hand on your shoulder, his shoulder, um, and uh, I would have done for the first time he was trying, but I I don't think the fourteen would have or thirteen would have helped. I think he did end up using that uh, first charge eventually. So so go ahead and and, um, if you used it, uh, go ahead and go ahead and roll your I guess two d four right. Is that correct or one d four? It's one d four. One d four. So go ahead and roll one d four. Okay, so it would have been a twelve. <clears throat> um, still not, not making it. <laughs> not with not with not with the quill. But Wait, quill the, was the. The quill was the nine. 
the okay. 9 and the 11. I don't know why he rolled a 13. And then I rolled, rolled a 13 a... because I had not rolled the second roll because the first roll failed. Okay. All right, so the guidance goes for the second roll then. Okay, that's fine. So go ahead and roll it, so but you need to roll a second one, right? So you rolled, okay. you rolled one for your second one, you need to roll another one for disadvantage. Yeah. I, I succeeded. There you go. So 16. Actually, yeah. <laughs> so you managed to um, get your claw in there and actually managed to work the uh, the lock open um, and and get the crate, the, the one of the chests open. Um, oh, is it whose equipment roll is a, it? Roll a... <laughs> oh, let's find out! Roll, roll a, a pure luck. Roll a... Roll a d6. Two! Um, you open, open the crate, uh, and you see what looks like, um, as you open it, O'Neill, you see what looks like your traveling clothes and, uh, equipment and bags. Actually, uh, she didn't had. have traveling clothes. She had finery in her robe. Uh, what, whatever you had, she, you see your, you see your, your equipment. Um, oh, finery and goods. You start to start to pull that out and and uh, get it on, and just below that, um, Zeriel, you see your gear. Fantastic. Oh, convenient that they put all the all the potentially fancy stuff on top of the. I feel like there's a certain narrative causality occurring here. Right. That's okay. I will <laughs> grab the thing into a mimic and my <laughs> spear. Oh, suddenly, <laughs> one of the the uh, one of the chests turns into a mimic and attacks Aki. Oh no! <laughs> I noticed that you didn't say attacks Kathleen. And you said, <laughs> I, that's, I noticed that too. I noticed that too. Uh, it attacks right, the so. player, not the character. Correct. <laughs> All right. Hacky so, roll for initiative. <laughs> the the assumption is I, I'll I'll assume you guys manage to get out and uh, everybody gets out of the cage. Um, you still have uh, Velos who is tied up. I'm assuming you guys are going to get him out, or are you guys going to leave him? I'm I'm no I I plan to free him. He's been Could he's been integral to this escape. <laughs> I, must, I must let him out. If it wasn't okay. for his feathers, we'd still be tied up. <laughs> we should uh, free up uh, other people's gear, and I'll try to bring it to them. Okay. Yep. So Kathleen, you see Kathleen in its dire wolf kind of just uh, bound off into the, into the woods um, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the young man, now. young man, yeah, drag, dragging a corpse. Um, you see, uh, the young man kind of very quietly coming up behind you, um, and, and he says, look, I, I know where, I know where we can go. I know where you can rest. It, it's good. There's good people there. You'll be, you'll be safe there. Um. That's to the druid, right? That's, that's awesome. to whoever, whoever's there right around the, the supply crate. All of y'all. It's oh, to all okay, of y'all. Okay, so as she nods, like, "Oh, we best move there quietly and quickly." But first, we have to free the others. Yes. So See, everyone um, gets freed, I assume, and yeah, just, we so, get our so gear back. I'll assume you take the time and you get you get uh, <clears throat> you get Velos free, and um, so Velos, you are now. Uh, out of your 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 bindings, you guys work for probably about an hour, uh, just because there's so many different kind of things um, going on. Uh, you guys manage to quietly get in and get your equipment. Um, right. As long as I get my shirt rest in, that accomplished technically nothing. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. Uh, I am going. The, the last thing I'm going to do before we leave is I'm going to run some rope from the fire to their tents. 
Uh, I okay. was going to suggest that we should also burn where the cage was kept and the supply wagon. I start sifting through the uh, supply wagon. Keep, okay, keep so in mind, you... they're still here. <laughs> they're still... Well, what, do you, what, are you guys, what are you guys doing? Because you guys said three different things. Who's doing what? Well, well, I'll do the same thing that he's doing with the rope to the tents, except I'll do the rope to the... Uh... Is the supply wagon and the uh, cage. Okay. Um, so, uh, Ziri will make a, make a stealth check. Yep. Disadvantage. Yep. That's what I get. <laughs> uh, right. I'm um, hoping to make it look like we died, but... Yeah. So, so I, I will say for this, Golthy, you're you're you've got he, you know, you you kind of uh, shimmied over quietly, and uh, he got your uh, shackles off as well. So you were you were awesome. free, and you've got your uh, you've been able to get your um, equipment. equipment now. Um, so you're kind of behind the thing, getting getting your your uh, equipment together. Um, has he really managed to? Lay down uh, two ropes um, down. Uh, one which you saw, saw where the the main uh, head of the the party, the camp, the the raiding party was. Um, one to the one of the other camp, the the tents. Um, and and uh, I need a little more visual. The lineal is running a running a rope over to the the wagon as you are doing this uh the third tent before you can start running your your, your um, rope to it uh you see a bit of a stirring um what are you doing mm -hmm. we're done <laughs> well we can run um, or you can hide. I'm gonna hide, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hide, or I'm gonna try and dart farther from the camp, so that okay. if they see me, I will be able to run. Okay. So is everyone is everyone going to dart into the woods? Is that what what everybody's doing? Yeah. Okay. So everybody make a make a stealth check. Um, and uh. Those of you with disadvantage, just keep up with what your disadvantage roll is. Including me. Um, yes. And you I... said it's been it's been an hour, right? Hmm. You said it's been an hour. Since when? Since when? Since he turned into a dire wolf. No, it hasn't been that long. No, it's been it's only been you know maybe thirty thirty minutes or so. What the fuck is with these stealth rolls? Am I barbarian? <laughs> nice. Okay. So, uh, Kath, what's yours? What? 20. 20? All right. I'm, I'm in somewhere else, so I just need you guys to give them to me. Uh, Golthy, what's yours? Uh, mine was like 19. Yeah, 19. Okay. Uh, Velos, what was yours? 25. Okay. All right. Uh, Zerial? 23. All right. Uh, Elenial? My disadvantage roll is a natural one. It's a five. All right. Five for one, Julie Count. That's a five. Um, so, you guys are, are, are running. Um, you see Elenial trip over a, uh, a root as she's, as she's going, but, um, uh, Velos, you you kind of you kind of grab her and and and, and keep her going. Um, I sort of grab you and you, just, you notice you're being pulled up as if I was like jumping really high. <laughs> Wink. And we continue. So, uh, you guys are are making your your run. Uh, the young man is with you. Uh, so you, did you did anyone? Get the grab the dwarf. No, you didn't want to get the dwarf. I honestly forgot he was there. 
God damn it. <laughs> I assume we would have grabbed him. Did anyone That's say they were going to grab him? I did not grab him. Okay. He'll be fine. All right. Um. Because I want to try to burn him alive. What? <laughs> Actually, that does that does actually stand oh, to reason. Oh, yeah, you would encounter him, him as you were doing that, so I guess maybe that's why you ended up tripping. All right, I'll I'll, I'll 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 say you guys you guys uh you know are, are who so who's carrying the dwarf? Ugh, I will. I guess. don't need the one who tripped. <laughs> so strong with that. So you have you have uh the the dwarf, dwarf kind of slung over slung over your shoulder, still unconscious, breathing, but he is uh he's he's not he's he's not not necessarily dead or, or almost dead, but he is he's out like a light. He is almost <laughs> I'm just kidding. The young I'll man him um, and take care of him and name him Stump. <laughs> so the young man um you guys get far enough away from the, the camp that it's no you guys can talk at a normal rate. Um so you all catch catch your breath. At this point I think um you see the, the dire wolf running with you. Uh, kind of stumble a little bit, and and you see the the lizard kind of lizard man kind of take a little bit of a tumble as he's his suddenly turned back into uh, his uh, lizard folk form. He suddenly um, becomes ow. bipedal. <laughs> um, uh, Ellen, with uh, as they run, kind of start off with like I guess introductions are in order. <laughs> and the the young boy says. He's he's gasping for air as you guys stop for a second. He says, "Thank you. I can't I can't believe I got out of there out of there alive. We're not out of the woods yet. Literally, pun intended. And you got Dooley. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she would uh, introduce herself as Lady uh, Eleanor Anander of House Anander." He kind of looks at you, smiles, and and kind of a kind of a uh, awkward like, hey, hi. Um, <clears throat> he says, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get back to town and get get to uh, get within some some protection uh, before we have too many conversations. Um, the the town is Rothhold. It's not far from here. Um, we can we can head there. Uh, let's let's let's. Do you know who uh, we can trust? Yes, yes. I I I. I Gold is not I, an I, issue. No, no. I, I I'm I'm from Rothhold. I know everyone there. Um, it's a very small village. We we all everyone knows every, each other. Um. The areas. Anyway, we we can discuss all this later. Let's. You wouldn't have been captured near your uh, home, would you? Um, well, near. Let's let's keep in keep in mind. You guys aren't like twenty minutes away. You guys, it's going to be a several. It's going to be several hours. So you guys can okay. discuss and t- kind of talk, but it's going to be a, That's on a the few way. hours. Yeah, it's going to be a few hours of 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 uh, moving before you get there, and. Um, so and he wasn't he wasn't like at his at his home when he he got captured either he was out uh you know a few uh, a little ways outside of his home so I just hope you won't pose a problem for the village um we'll be fine you hear from the treetops above you <laughs> he he says um wait just... are you still holding me. <laughs> What? No. Just, uh, he's, he says, it, it'll be fine. Just just keep your head down. Um, they're good people. Um, they've, they've, had a, they've had their share of issues, but they're good people. Um, and uh, I agree so, with him that we should continue moving on. We should also try and forage <laughs> for some food while we're while we're moving, yeah, someone try to hide forage. Tracks. So yes. you guys, um, someone who is is uh, uh, good at this sort of thing, go ahead and make a uh, uh, someone who's proficient in survival. Go ahead and make your survival check. So I have a background yep. that says, but 
Batlander as a background. I can find food and fresh water for myself and up to five other people each day, provided the land can uh, provide that. Yeah. So you you guys you guys managed to find um find some food. There's a stream not far by, not not far from you um, that you're able to get some fish. Um, and uh, you guys get enough food to kind of at least sate that uh, that desperate hunger you had from not having any food for several days. And you get fresh water, um, food, and uh, you start making your way towards uh, this next town. Um, a lizard, a cat, and a bird go fishing. Um, yep. <laughs> also... Uh, Eleanor would uh, suggest to uh, hide their tracks if they can. Yeah, so you can probably, uh, I would say, a survival. Uh, probably. Roll I'm not going to attempt that one. <laughs> so, someone who's I haven't who's, had an who's issue with at, that one. Wink, wink. Yeah, so someone someone who's good at who's good at survival. Uh, I guess you suggest this to someone. You suggest it out loud, so. Whoever has any good idea to hide, because she she doesn't know how you know hunters right. track things. She doesn't know that they can do it. Mm. So that would probably be Velos or or uh, or them. What was the say, question? I technically ha I technically don't leave tracks because I've been going through the treetops. Right, but but she's a lady of the court, not some outdoorsman. So, I, I, um, I, are they going to be able to follow us? Probably. I'm assuming slavers so, are decent. So, uh, uh, someone, someone who has who who has a good survival, go ahead and roll. Uh, I'll one go of you guys who, just decide to make. One of you guys decide to try to hide your tracks. Um, whoever has the highest survival. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we so, go. Um, one of you guys. So Velos comes through and and. I tie some branches to your tails. <laughs> You you guys kind of um he he kind of creates this you see him kind of creating these uh tracks and double tracks and and places where the they double back on each other and um go off in uh, a couple of different directions um and there's there's he he kind of spends some time kind of covering tracks and making yeah. false tracks and um doubling back pretty pretty well hiding hiding the way you guys went um. Hey, they would have to be you you didn't gather these the folks that you were you were with were really the best they were not trackers they really were opportunists okay. um so they they were not necessarily going to be um oh yeah Never mind. Are taking no chances so uh so i so have you, a tendency you, uh, oh sorry go ahead Go ahead. Go ahead. So I was going to ask about regarding that uh, original band. So my character has a tendency to keep grudges. So despite being treated relatively well, was it did anything happen over the course of my uh, incarceration that might lead me to harbor a grudge against any of them in particular? I mean, besides up. beating you, other than just being you captured and 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 put in a cage, no, they treated you extremely well. I mean, okay. they gave you they gave you food and water and uh, didn't necessarily make sure you were comfortable, so per se, but they they didn't mistreat you. They weren't they weren't trying to break you. Okay. Um, they treated you like an animal. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so your your best guess is that they were trying to take you as is. They didn't okay. necessarily want to take you as a slave to be used for something. Right. They, they were taking to... you as a trophy. Uh, Trophy or a presenti presentation. Okay, cool. Just figured I'd double check on that because <clears throat> it's in character. Can I tell if my scroll of pedigree has had been opened? Hmm. Oh well, yeah, your scroll of thingamajuber. Could I tell if my scroll of pedigree had been sure. open at the even bother looking at it? Nobility. Yeah. Uh, no, it didn't. It is untouched. <laughs> Keep in mind, cool. you were from a you were from a fallen house. In they favor. don't know that, right? They don't know that. Um, so 
they don't they even don't call it house brand. They didn't care enough to open the yeah. paper. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they 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 saw someone who could potentially be useful as a slave that looked like, you know, again they were some good loot. Yeah, they were opportunists. They're not, they're, you know, they're not necessarily taking commoners off the street. Um, Maybe uh, a good dancer. Who knows? <laughs> They suspect you uh, might be able. At worst, maybe you can put up. Maybe you can be worth a ransom. So you guys, you guys spend the better part of three to four hours making your way through uh, the woods um, with um, uh, with. Um, he finally introduces himself as Wesley. Um, Wesley? Wesley. Wesley. Oh, Wesley. Is he a ginger? <laughs> <laughs> is he a ginger? Um no, he's he's fairly plain looking. He's you know, brown hair, um, kind of, you know, nothing nothing terribly for all intents and purposes, he's just very plain. He's um, Wesley, not Wesley. Wesley. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we don't know what no. his, we don't know what his last name is. We just know his first name. Um, <laughs> he just introduces himself as Wesley. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's so a he's... dread pirate, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> as you wish. Oh God, um, what have I done? At least we're not running into any rodents of unusual size. <laughs> oh, it's unusual yeah. size. Suddenly, exist. suddenly from the ground spurts a plume of fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, all right, so you guys, over the next few hours, you 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 kind of trudge through to, through the forest. Um, it gets colder as you move. You you feel like you're kind of on that. You were kind of on that edge of it, um, that elevation. You, you kind of you you've been kind of going up most of this time. Um, All right, I should uh, be fine since I my finery is decently heavy and my robe. It's not. It's not so cold that it's like causing some kind of effect. It's just you, you feel like it's. You feel like it's getting cooler. It's not. It's not. Cold. You know, it was cool before, but it is. You you can feel like it's getting. It's getting a little bit cool. You can kind of feel that elevation, that coolness. So it's dropping a few degrees. <clears throat> yes. As you come come up, you you come across a path, uh, cut into the woods. Ooh. Um, and he and he kind of stops and he goes, "Oh my, thank God, we're almost there." Um, he turns left and starts heading heading down this path. Um, and after another thirty minutes or so, twenty thirty minutes, you see a um, uh, what looks like a a a, a bit of a thrown together fort, for lack of a better term. It's, oh, so it's straight it's, up has walls. It's a hill fort. It has has wooden walls. Yeah, there's still walls. Um, it's it's a it's a frontier camp. Okay. It's 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 an a outpost. um you know, it's an outpost, it's a small village. Um they uh they they don't necessarily, you know, it's not a um you know, it's not it's not a uh uh it's nothing fancy or big. Nothing fancy. Um you do see that it's kind of there's a there's a hill or kind of jutting mountain kind of up behind it that it's kind of built up against so it has kind of a natural natural barrier from one side so you have kind of the mountain or hill hill large rocky hill on one side and then the wood uh uh walls on the other um and uh you see him he goes in and there's a uh there's a guard on, at the, at the door um obviously you know these are not these are not professional soldiers, um, but they are they're they're fairly well equipped. While they they look well equipped for several years ago, like their equipment looks like it's has not been replaced recently. Um, yeah, some note of a militia. Um, what you can gather is that this was probably. Um, and and several of you may know this that this was a this was a this area was fairly uh well off um however there's been some issues where 
that have caused um, some depression in the area, and and uh, some of these frontier villages and towns have kind of been been on their own for a while um, and have not, not really gotten much support. Um, Are we talking over the last couple of months or the past couple of years? This has been past past couple of years. Okay, um, this is relevant to how much I actually know. Um. So he he goes up to the to the the guard to this militia guard, um, and he recognize the the guard recognizes him instantly, and he says, "Wesley, what what are you doing? Who?" He kind of you see him. He has a spear, and he says, "Puts the spear down." He has a sh- shield and a spear, and he goes, "Who who are these people?" And he says, "Don't just relax. Don't worry about it. Uh, they're friends." <sighs> I know we had had there were there were raiding parties in the area. Um, we had hoped they had moved on, but apparently they hadn't. Um, and I was captured, uh, well, camp being out by myself. Um, and you see him kind of do the 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 shy kid thing, where he's kind of looking at the ground, um, knowing he was kind of stupid. Oh, the um, oh, the embarrassed, <clears throat> embarrassed kid who got in trouble. He, he grinds his toe into the dirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and the guard kind of sighs a little bit, and he says, "Your father is going to be real happy tonight." Um, and uh, so he says, uh, "So happy right. that you're grounded." Well, <laughs> yeah. So- if uh, you know, if, if they're if they're okay, let's let's get them inside. They look uh, a little worse for wear. Um, and he he looks over at the the lizard and the 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 um, feline person, the bird person, and he's like, "You have got some very interesting friends there." Um, I turned my head exactly. off recently. So it's you guys said the same thing. It said something at the same time. What was that? I said I turned my head and cough. But, okay. <laughs> what did you say, uh, Kathleen? I said thanks for thanks for the concern, but I've eaten recently. <laughs> oh God. Um, he kind of he kind of looks at you looks time. at you with a with a kind of a, a very hesitant um, feeling. He says. Okay, just don't cause any trouble. Um, we've had enough of that here recently, anyways. Um, and so he, uh, you guys walk in, go in, and um, uh, he goes to. Uh, he takes you tor- towards the uh, the Whitestone Tavern. Um. And when he when he walks when he walks in the door, um, you see it's it's like a log tower type, you know, uh, log. How big is it? About? It's not not huge. I mean, none of the stuff here is very big, um, and it's it's a little messy. And you see a a, a crossbow sitting. Never mind, not a crossbow. You see a crossbow kind of sitting on 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 a, on pegs on the wall. Um, it looks like it's not seen use in a very long time. Um, mm-hmm. And you see behind the bar um, a a bigger man. Uh, what you see is similar features to uh, Wesley, um, but older and 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 uh, graying. Mm. Um, he's he's kind of cleaning some cleaning some glasses and and getting some things together and right. he looks over and Sup? sees Wesley and just you see the you see the the you see the dad face like happen you have you have to see like the the frustration <laughs> uh worry anger like you just see all these things kind of go through at one one time he goes through the stages Stops of grief right there and back again he he goes through that and then he just he just drops the glass <laughs> on the counter um 
Does it and runs over and, and gives Wesley a big hug. Um, and um, he says, where the hell have you been? And you see, you see Wesley kind of being held up off the ground a little bit. And he's kind of like, <laughs> Dad, Dad, can't, can't, I can't wait. Um, and so he, he drops him. He says, were you in one of your little adventure running off in the woods again? Um, and he says, uh, maybe. Um, un- unfortunately, there's there's some slavers in the area um, and they managed to pick me up. Good news though. Silver lining. Um, uh, these uh, fine adventurers um, have, were able to help me and, and managed to get me home. Are there any random um, trinkets lying around on the tables? Are, are they ever, are we ever going to have somewhere to put this, uh, not quite dead dwarf <laughs> at because you know. So, I mean, we're in an inn, right. right, or a bar. Yeah. yeah. So you so you're you're in a you're in a tavern, um, and go. you see some other folks. Um, you see like a couple of of humans and. Um, uh, Ellen would uh, happily uh, explain what had happened and kind of nudge the story a little bit, saying how his boy was brave and. We could use some rest. I want to take make a look a, around this place. Uh, possible. Make a um, uh, persuasion. Persu- pers- now persuasion roll. Yeah, same roll. Um, he listens to your your kind of explanation of everything, and he kind of he kind of looks a little like. Not really problem. knowing if that's like he he's kind of hard kind of hard for her to believe, but he kind of looks at you and and looks at Wesley, and Wesley's doing kind of like the 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 real big smile, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, eh? <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, he says, I, "I'm I'm very proud of you, son." And, and he looks at the rest of you and says, "Thank you, um, thank you for 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 bringing me back." Um, he bravely ran into the woods when the, the time came. <laughs> he uh, he he does say he kind of you, you see his his face kind of darken a little bit. Um, and he says, "Wesley, um, head on in the back. Um, I'll 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 talk to you in a little bit." Um, and he kind of looks up at him and looks up at you guys and. And he goes, oh, okay. Um, and he kind of, kind of goes off, and <clears throat> he says, "Look, thank you. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I, I greatly appreciate you bringing my son back. Um, and it's, it's only because of that I'm going to let you stay if you, if you need to stay. Uh, I can pay." Uh, the, the money's not the issue. Um, just let me. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna tell you this one time and one time only. Do not kill anyone. I don't care what they do. Do not kill anyone. I Here or I outside. In 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 the this area, in 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 in, in, around, in my tavern, around my tavern, in our t- in, in in our town, do not kill anyone. Okay, you hear from across the bar. Um, I'm a civil as person. as you're talking, um, you know, Gothi has the the dwarf over his shoulder, um, and and you, uh. Over in the corner, there's several people in in in, in the bar, um, but you do see uh, a dwarf sitting up in the in the in the corner, um, 
look up and, and kind of look around and you see him, his eyes just go wide with shock. Um, and he puts, he puts his, his stein down and, and runs over. Um, uh, hang on one moment. I have notes. I have notes. Must notes remember are, name. Notes are here. Notes are here. Notes are somewhere. Where are the notes? Um, Uh, I would say to the bartender, though, that um, she is in desperate need of rest, and uh, if anybody asks for her, she's not here. So, so he uh, he runs up to you, and um, he says, "Dooley, is my brother." He, he's he's uh, looking at 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 uh, Gulthy. Says, "My brother." You brought my brother back. You brought my brother back. I, I thought he was dead. Oh, yeah, I brought Go back on. a little son. Hold on. I sort of sit him down on a table. Uh... You just lay him down on a table. Um. So at at some point, um, can wave somebody... a stein in front of his face. <laughs> so somebody may, somebody make a medical check and see if you guys can get him back back up and up uh... and going. Give me a second. Uh, Good, I... I think I actually have. Yeah, you probably want to let the let, yeah. That's fine. All right, so um, you kind of check him a little bit and go over him. I poke um, him a bunch, and uh, you know, while he, he's fine, uh, you 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 finally get a little frustrated and you just slap him across the face a little bit. Yeah, that sounds about <laughs> and, right. And you see him, you see him kind of start to breathe a little bit more regularly, and 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 open one eye and then the other, and He's kind of, you know, his head is, you know, his eyes are just kind of glazed over and looking, and and you see um, the other dwarf just like on top of him, hovering over him, in his face. And he goes, "Was he struggling him or something?" Dooley, wake up! Um, Dooley, wake up! It's Gundren. Dooley, is he still um, holding his stein? No, he he left his stein at, at his table. Mind if I borrow it? Um, he's he's waking up, so he's he's his eyes are opening, and he's and he's he's coming to. Oh, okay, he's got um, it. and um, he says, "You see the 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 one that was passed out." He says, uh, "What? What's going on? Where am I?" Apparently, this guy <laughs> knows you. He says, "Yes, I know him. He's my brother." I shrug. Um. And um, he goes, he pulls him up, pulls him up, and uh, gives him a big hug. And he trying to finally con- comes to, and uh, he says, "Well, this is." Uh, you see the uh, the the bartender um, come 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 up. Well, I mean, I guess I guess you're. Uh, Two for two, two at this point, aren't you? Um, you brought two, two of our, two of our, uh, our village back. Oh, he's from here um, too. Well, they're they're not really from here. Um, I'll let I'll let Gundren and Dooley explain it to you. Um, All right. But um, they're by the way, I picked up. There's visitors that we there's visitors that we have we have adopted to a certain extent. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, there is a couple other people, uh, in the, in the, um, in the, the, the tavern. <clears throat> and as Dooley is coming to, um, yeah, and there's a couple, there's a couple people in the, in the corner, um, kind of, kind of looking at all this, kind of seeing what's going on. And um, Dooley sits up, and and he says he he, you see him sit up, and he kind of comes to and 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 wakes up completely, and looks over and sees these, sees sees Gundren, sees his brother, and sees you guys, and it's kind of taking it all in. But but when he sits up, he he locks into these two. Um, 
kind of people sitting over in the corner. Uh-huh. Um, and he says, you bastards. I uh, look over. You sold head. us out. You sold us out. Um, and you see two, two, uh, two humans stand up. Not, I mean, I'm sorry, not two humans, two dwarves stand up. Um, and, and you see Gunner kind of trying to figure out what it's, what he's talking about. And, and, uh, he said, he looks, looks at Gunner. He said, these are the two bastards that, that led me into that, uh, down the road, right into this this the slavers camp. At that point, um, you see the two dwarves just shake their head and say, uh, "We don't know what you're talking about. You you you're you're losing it." And they begin to walk out the door. <clears throat> Um, you see Gundren uh, stand back up, and a couple other patrons that are that are uh, look like they could probably hold themselves together in a fight. Awesome. Stand up, stand up in 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 the way of the door, and and the two dwarves say, "Look, you don't want to do this. You know what that means." And he says. They say you're not, you're not leaving here. You're not putting, you're not putting us through this, and then I'm just gonna walk out of here with nothing. <clears throat> um, I take a sip from Gundren Stein. The uh, the two dwarves that got up, say, this is not gonna end well for anyone. You know that. He looks over at the at. Uh, the tavern keeper um, and he says you see you see him just go pale he is you've not seen many people scared that scared before he is uh, you, he's scared I said he says look tavern keeper scared Yes, he says, just let them leave. He and Gunner goes, what? What? And bring the slavers here? Is that what you want? <laughs> um, as he's saying that, one of the dwarves uh pulls a dagger and goes for uh Gundren. Oh hell well, no. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't even remember how to do this. So it's, uh. Go, Alexia. All right, let me see. So I'm thinking about doing something interesting with with crit um, uh, initiative. Um, uh-huh. I know it's not in the rules, but I kind of like the idea of not wasting a crit on on initiative. So what I was thinking was, if you get a crit on initiative, you can pick uh, when you go, at least for the f- for that first uh, round. For the first round, so you can freely hold your action. Cool. So if you roll a crit. You get to pick. You want to go first. You want to go last. You want to go after somebody. Um, after that, you fall into uh, normal the initial order. normal initial order. All right, which I'll go last. Cool. You go last. Okay. All right. All let right. me see if I can find this. I'm a healer, so. Right. Um, and I was thinking about making it so you would go always go first, but that's not always useful for some people. Yep. So I wanted to you know make it so. Um, you get something special for at least rolling the crit. You get something like out of if, it. If I wanted to go first, I would cast uh, Bless, but I, my character in character is not aware of everyone's abilities and whatnot, and I don't even put right. that on three people. 
Right. Okay. So usually you want to put that on the people who are going to be up up in melee. And... All right. So um, you guys has everyone rolled initiative? I got Kath. Oh, I forgot to roll this stupid thing. I'll uh, be right back. Uh, quick. Did, oh, right. I can't add. There's no tokens. So, but yeah. I'm at the end. So yeah. Um, so I think we got everyone right. All right. So. <clears throat> So number one is going to be uh, uh, Velos. You're going to go for her first. Awesome. You guys are all just kind of basically sitting around in the same area. Uh, no one's kind of... You guys can reach everyone, move to where you want to move. So don't, don't worry about movement or positioning or thing like that. Just tell me what tell me what you're doing. Work. Let me see. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is Put down the stein at the nearest table, mm -hmm. and then charge towards the dude with the dagger. Okay. And All right. punch him. Okay. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. Okay. All right, go ahead and make your attack. All right, I just need to remember... There it is. Unarmed strike. It's plus six, so... Oh yeah, that hits. All right, the so damage will be All right. Uh and then All right, how's he looking? He's looking he's looking pretty rough. All right, and as my bonus action, I'm going to punch him again. Okay. Just not normal extra punch, no key stuff. Okay. Um, that hits. I'll say that hits. Oh, okay. So I'm close. It's getting close. Yeah. All right. So you, so you, you guys see, um, uh, the the winged bird, the bird person, the bird man, <laughs> fly fly towards the, uh, um the one with the dagger and kind of do a double punch uh, right in his face and he just kind of goes limp on the floor. Um, <clears throat> and let's see. So uh, next is going to go the guy that you just knocked out. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to have... Where's my initiatives that you guys rolled? Uh, Should right, be right. Cath so, next. So then, it's, yeah, it's going to be Cath, Cath Leon. Hmm. I will stand up. Dude, we got our equipment back, right? Yes. Okay, I'll stand up against one wall and just hold my shield up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't really have don't really have a reason to take sides yet. Okay. All right. So um, next is uh, Gundren. Um, you see him pull out uh, an axe. Ah, oh, um, crap. And he go and and after after a few seconds, he kind of gets what's what happened. Um, and. I can shoot a glare as a reaction. I will. You can sh shoot what? I see the axe, and I just give him kind of a dirty look. <laughs> He's not really paying attention to you right now. Fair enough. Um, he uh, he go he goes for uh, 
the one with what one the one on the that's been knocked down in the knife. He doesn't know he's knocked out. He just knows he's he's uh on the ground. Um so he gets advantage. Oh shit. Um so that is a hit and it it's actually because he's unconscious it is an automatic crit. Um and so he is dead. Um you see him run up to this to him and bury the axe in his chest. Ah. You see, you see uh, the the tavern keeper go. Wait, but it's too late. We didn't kill him. Um. Uh, uh, just so then it's gonna be, um. I'm back. Uh, guess. Uh, Zeriel, you're up next. I am also going to sit and observe. Okay. Uh, um. Next is going to be. Okay. Um. Just before Golthy goes, um. The other dwarf that's waking up is finally kind of getting him, getting himself together. Um, mm-hmm. He goes, goes, goes over and um, grabs the dagger from the dead, uh, the dead dwarf, and Come jabs on. it and in, jabs it into the uh, the chest of the other, uh, the other one. Wait, um, what? He says, "Yeah." So there's two, there's two dwarves. Yes. Um, Four dwarves. There's four dwarves total, uh, and none of uh, them are happy. We have <laughs> none of them so, are happy. There's so dueling, dueling, dueling and, Gundren, yeah, Gundren, um, and then there's two others that you guys don't don't know. Uh, right. One's dead, and one. Let's see. One got it. One has a knife. Dagger. Yeah, one has it. I think one has the better part of his spine missing. Yeah. Uh, so that's not very much. So he he jams it into to his chest. Um, into whose chest? To to the other dwarf. He ch- ch- stabs the dead one. Chest. Stabs. Oh, no, 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 no. The the one that's that's still <laughs> up. Door the undead stabs dwarf. bad dwarf. So yeah, exactly. Wait. So did Dooley pick up the knife then? Yes, he yes. went over and grabbed oh, okay, the, the knife okay. from the dead the dead dwarf and stabbed the other one. Oh my god. Um. He killed the other dwarf. I was there for he him. didn't kill him. He didn't do much damage, but he no, he did he did attack him. Um, okay. And Wait. so next is going to be Golthy. You're up. So far, so far, the dwarf brothers have done all the killing and stabbing. So Golthy, Golthy. All right. So Siege. who's still up? That's uh, where am I? Where you're you? you all you're all kind of just right right in front of right at the the door, basically standing standing where the uh, the dwarves are coming up to. So, All right, so one, one yeah. bad dwarf is dead. Oh, yeah. yeah, we don't know if he was bad. No. Well, one of the dwarfs but, is dead. Yes, and his buddy is currently doing getting stabbed. Yeah, his, his he's he just got stabbed in the chest. Um, All right. And and according to uh, Dooley, these were the armed? dwarves who sold Dooley out. All right. Is he armed? He, he is armed. He has a he has a, a small dagger. Like I give a shit about a small dagger. Okay, I'm gonna grapple him. There you go. Just sort of like hold him up and away from duel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So roll a uh, roll a strength check, right? I believe it is. Should be. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you you uh, uh, grapple the shit out of him. Bear hug. I sort of um, hold him out of reach like a jar of cookies from a bad child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No! You just see the little doors um, just jumping up trying to stab him. <laughs> um So as you do this, you get him out, up out of the way and and um the other dwarf is is kind of just on the ground uh dead. So so at this point Dying. you guys are technically still in combat, but because he is disabled, um we'll kind of go by every six seconds. You guys okay. can do something, and we'll, we'll he'll get a chance to to roll to break. Actually, I didn't roll for him. Hang on. Yeah, I think just in case. 
Yeah, no, he didn't break it. Didn't so. Um, <laughs> so uh, Can I intimidate him to surrender? Yeah, let's go ahead and try rolling uh, intimidation right. with advantage. I'll say you with advantage since you have him. Basically, right, you're like right in your face. <clears throat> smell your breath. And his buddy's dead. Yeah, I think he's going to surrender. Yeah, so he... Um, he... Uh, I threaten to bash him against the table if he doesn't drop his fucking weapon. And I stand between the two dwarves and that. You you see him he he does kind of cower a little bit, but he uh he just Is He doesn't he... have he doesn't really have anything to give you. He just he just he he doesn't he doesn't necessarily let go of his weapon. Mm. Um but he is uh he's not like Resisting. trying to stab you or anything either. Okay. Elmo would ask the barkeep, do you want me to try and save the dying dwarf if he's not already dead? He's quite dead. He's pretty dead. He's, de- he's, he's dead. He was, His chest got he split was, open he by was, an axe. He was hit by a chest after he'd already been, he, he had already been knocked unconscious, so yeah, he's, oh. he's super dead. Never mind. Yeah. He is beyond my skills, sadly. Even if he was a player character, he would still be dead. <laughs> well... It's that's that's uh, he would have failed two death saving throw throws technically so and whatever. Um, There's a small chance. Yeah. Uh, well, you would have to do I think, um, what half his health and damage. Pass? Yeah. Well, we don't we don't do we don't do that for for NPCs and stuff. Yeah. I'm not going. To. They're not important. Uh, I'm not keeping track of death saving throws for fucking NPCs. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep a track of them. Of- for for all uh, twelve of these goblins. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, so yeah, he he is he's just kind of sitting there staring at you. He he does not look like he is being aggressive at this point, and he just kind of says, "I don't have a choice." Right answer. That's but that's all he, that's all he says. He just says, "I don't have a choice." Goddamn right, you don't have a choice. So any uh, so, Gothi when he's got him he he's got him uh, grappled. Uh, so we'll go uh, to the dwarf you're grappling. So let's he's gonna make a save to try to to uh, break your grapple. So go ahead and roll your check. <clears throat> the dwarf I intimidated to surrender. Yes, he's still going to try to break your grapple. He has no choice. He said. Um, in, oh yeah, okay. That's a tie, and I can't remember how that hand, how that's handled. Oh, ac- actually, no, that's not a tie because yeah. So that would he actually. So as as he's saying this, um, you see, see him, you see him. Yes, he is intimidated. Uh, but you can gather there is something more than a half orc in a tavern that he has to worry about. Just some um, outside influence, and so he something with half, his, more scary with his, than a half orc. So he has his dagger and he kind of slashes at your arm, and it, enough for you to for him to get to get loose. Um, and he goes to run out the door. Uh, attack at that of opportunity. Point. Yep, attack of opportunity, Both and of you, you, all three of you get attack of opportunity. You. you uh, uh, Velos, um, Golthy, and Gundren get to attack some opportunity. All right, all right I so... go to choke slam the motherfucker. Choke slam. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, what is that? Um, you can't. You can't. Plus you my... can't do a. You can. You can attack, but you can't. Arm, you know what I mean. can't perform wrestling moves. Yeah, an arm strike. Uh, okay. okay, you're doing an arm strike. Go. <laughs> lethal or non-lethal? I'm just, I'm just imagining elbow drop. Right. Well, all right. It's about time I got it. <laughs> yeah. So that that misses. Uh, Velos, go ahead and roll your attack. That hits. Arm bar him non lethally. Okay. All right. And then axe to the face. <laughs> and then, and then uh, 
you see uh, Gundren in a in a rage. Oh uh, shit! He, oh shit! He rolls a six and no, that's damage. Sorry. Uh, he buries the the axe in the chest and he pulls him close and he says, "You don't fuck with my family." And you see no, him just kind of slump off, slump off the, uh, uh, slough off the, the, the axe. Not entirely certain that word's been invented in this world. You know what I mean. Shut up. It has. Fuck. Apparently, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And maybe in dwarvish. I'm sure there's a dwarvish word for um, fuck. I know it. I, I mean, Velos would probably say pluck. <laughs> <laughs> and then Excuse me. So, um, it so as this is all, all is happening. Um, some of the some of the the people in the the, the yeah, tavern are, are kind of shaken. Um, you but see, yeah, yeah. You guys kind of disperse a little bit and leave them uh, there. And uh, Gundren is Gundren kind of takes cake takes um <clears throat> Gundren, Gundren kind of takes Dooley off to the side and sets sets down at a um uh. I got one more thing. I got one more thing, and then we can stop. One more thing. I, I, Ellen would like to point out to the tavern keep that she did not kill anybody. Um, and he, he was trying he to keep them alive, but they, they with the axe kind of had other plans. They, uh, um, you guys kind of disperse a little bit, and there's still two bodies sitting on the floor, and you see the tavern keep just kind of holding his head. Um. Just kind of expectantly, expectantly waiting uh, for kind of the shoot, other shoe to drop. Right. Uh, um, I walk up to him at least. And well, before you, before you guys do anything, you guys are kind of, kind of separating it off and stuff. Right. I've been standing you... by him the whole time. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you guys hear just a strange noise that you guys haven't really heard before. Um, outside, and uh. um. The door opens, and this... How do I describe this? Um, Ultra Tor from the Ninth World? (laughs) (laughs) You see... um, You see a human man Mm -hmm. coming in, but he's not walking. Oh, no. He just floats um you see him just kind of he has that that air about him he has his hands behind his back kind of floats over and kind of looks at looks over things does he have a shitty grin um no he doesn't really have any kind of look he but he oh okay he looks looks over the 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 uh tavern keep and you see him pull his hand out and um you see in his hand these blood red coins um mm. and as you do you see him wonderful as always and you see him put put the coins on the counter um and two creatures you don't really know what they are kind of come in um pick up the bodies and start leaving uh walking out out of the the tavern the uh, the man kind of turns around and looks the rest of the looks the rest of the people and <clears throat> looks specifically at uh, Golfi and kind of tilts his head a little bit and says, <laughs> "You, you look like you leave uh, death and destruction." Hmm. Flicks a red coin to you. Wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, you're the hero of this campaign. Congratulations, you're now the protagonist. Wait, who do you flip that coin to? You. You. Me. So t- he gave two to the barkeep, and you, you see him gave you. gave gave some some to the barkeep. Right. No. No. And... Yeah, I caught that, but he gave one to me. Yes. Yes. Specifically yes. me. Yes. Because you look like oh, you caused joy. a lot of death and destruction. He said specifically. Um, which I actually got it wrong. What he what he says is he says you look like you leave a path of death behind you. 
um, and flips flips a coin, blood red coin to you, Actually, smiles, and floats out. Was this in common or another language? Yeah, common. Okay. That's only only common. I gotta check. I mean, he did. He didn't like like he saw you guys. Well, I mean, but that's... he wasn't like you. you wasn't kind of look at this. He was kind of look at this as like, uh, like you would look at an anthill. Yeah. Like these, you know, the only reason he kind of kind of took took to uh, Golthy is just kind of you know, big, you know, half orc barbarian. Kind of good at killing things, you know. He, he picked chains. up the beefiest, most dangerous <laughs> looking man. These chains. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot! You, you still have those on you, don't you? No, no, he, you guys. Oh got no, them you got them off, right? You got them off. Right. off. No, so. you unlocked. You you undid the lock, but the manacles and shit are like still on no, you. No, he, no, no, he got, got he got them off you. He got oh yeah, because you weren't able to rip them apart, okay. so your hands are not stuck together. No, you got them. You probably still have wrist burns though. So basically, as as that as that happens, he you see him. Uh, kind of float out, and you have, hear that same kind of noise um, from before. And as you look out, there's there's nothing out there. Uh, dimensional travel. That's always fun. Mm. Sort of like the asshole of the world just ripped a big one. Again. He looks back at the tavern keep. Yes. And just kind of raises an eyebrow. Like, she's not asking it, but she has that look, like, inquisitive. I stand in front of him and just look at him also. I just kind of hold up my coin in one hand and with the other hand gesture towards it. Like, the fuck? I'm holding another stein. I don't know where I got it, though. He, he, looks, at, he, looks, at, uh, he looks at you guys and he says, I think it's time for you all to leave. And that's what I we're calling. She's needing rest. She's been wanting rest all this time. <laughs> She's been trying to get a room. She was even participating in <laughs> Well, see you guys later and fly right out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll call it there and pick it up next week. Hooray, Goldie, the half uh, bar the barbarian, would... half she work is the protagonist. Yay. <laughs> she well, would 